Share to Alright. Yes. Don't push it at the end then too, so it matches? Yeah, no, you gotta scoot in the whole thing. Just flip the uh flip the mic in. Bring it back up this side. Oh, we gotta talk about Joe Budden and Nicki Minaj. You know what? Yeah. I, oh, man. You know that she's on his podcast today, though, right? No, I, I heard it. I heard it. The whole thing? Because they came out on uh, Wednesday. Well, hers came out Tuesday. His came she out Wednesday. Rick Ross? I was excited. I thought she was shady. I thought she was shady. I thought she was shady. I'm telling you. At first, though. I'm telling you, there's no. Sorry, guys. I, as a I big forgot. Dude, you never get over anybody you, just telling you, you to shut your fat ass up. <laughs> that is the she literally said that big joke. Like, wow. If you could be saying whatever, like, shut your fat ass up. He's like, you know what though? Scoot it, in here. Come on, man. Get back to I'm, I'm next. I'm next. Scoot oh, more. What? I'm be like me. Scoot right more. more. I'm honestly not mad at her because she tried to humanize herself. She just wild out. To win me back. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not mad at her. That's well, it's perfect because we're also. <laughs> told them to squash the beef over a chip. Oh, we can get a lot closer if you guys are here tonight, Jack. We can't. Uh, I mean, this is cool. Like, I don't have to see. I probably want to see the top yeah, yeah, there. I don't know if I feel less comfortable going much closer. I said, hey, I'm, I, I'm, I, 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 I can get chairs. closer. Oh, I was going to say, I mean, this guy's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we are in the Patreon. The whole gang is back. We're doing a little thing oh. different. We're going to shoot Patrick into here's uh, podcast. Woo. Damn internet, you scary. That's a damn like the Hoover Dam, not the Hoover <laughs> Dam. I'm not cursing. Yeah. Well, so it's the AM. We did take the end. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why they chose it like the Hoover Dam, but that's why. And then we'll shoot right to the ratchet. All right, And we'll get to as many questions as possible. And then we'll do Patrick and them to uh, I mean, Patrick and Tahir's podcast. Woo! They're flooding in now, so we'll have to reach out. When do we get to eat? Huh? There's only 60 in. You're going to eat the sandwich. Oh, y'all got it? What kind of sandwich is it? Chicken sandwich. though. How are you in juicing? Uh, Popeye, you had chicken sandwich. No, they ain't no chicken sandwich. It's the same one. What? Popeye? Yeah. They had a chicken sandwich. It left a while ago. It was a chicken po' boy. Nah, this was different. This is like this is like a big fillet sandwich. This is fillet. Yeah. Is it spicy? I don't think so. I've been eating like trash for the past three weeks. I thought it was stopped when I got home. Hard body. Huh? I've been hard body. I don't know about that. You said we was a different word. I've been in the gym. You said I've been in the gym a lot. I've been slobbing. I'm full of slobbing. It just wasn't connected with me. I'm like, what? You just said you ain't done nothing. You said your fat ain't word up. I have not. Dad, you shut up. You don't do nothing. I don't. I'm not explaining it out so long. I haven't done a push at one before. If it falls, it just falls. It just falls, it falls. I just feel like I fell down this uh, 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 wormhole of bad eating. I've been eating yogurt and granola when I want biscuits. Doc, <laughs> <laughs> what are you Bro, doing, man? Back, Turn the back. these lights off, man. It's dark. Huh? Want to take that? No, it's too late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really it back, good joke. Man. I had a really good joke. Let's I'm going to do it again. You got confidence right, in it? Right, I'm going to just have to replay my uh, focus. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, hang out with us, man. What are you talking about? You said you're leaving? Why did I say I was leaving? You said you're leaving somewhere after this? You always got plans, man. Just sit down. I'm showing out uh, Portland. You got Portland? Got you got a show in Portland. <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't, I didn't do it. Pork wings? That's, you, you were on Pork Belly Road on my thing, I have. That's hilarious. Pork Belly Road? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm way better, Josh. Huh? I'm you sitting in here. Oh, yeah, Josh. I was wondering, you were in the other room. They were here in the fan the whole time. Why, man. They didn't sorry. deserve that. Let me get some of them veggie chips. I got to up my vegetables. Eat no veggie. Vegetables. Are those right. real vegetables? They're in a chip. Oh, God. <laughs>
So we're gonna drive to London. I mean, so y'all don't want to send your shot, do you? Y'all ain't got mugs though. Don't see those feet. Am I in the frame? Y'all yeah, be doing good numbers though. Yeah. Am I in the frame, Joshua? Yeah, they say they like this one a lot better because I don't see your feet anymore. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what they said. Why would you let my feet be in the frame before? Josh? I did. That wasn't my camera. I set it up. Man. Fix your attitude, man. Ooh, your daughter's here. Here. My daughter is here. Kiara today. Now you can be the mother you've always needed to be. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do this, man. I'm excited. Uh, you got to do your intro because we don't know how to do it. All right, so basically. Hold on, hold on. We need to sweat, don't we? Josh, you gone? Y'all shoot on the phone or y'all shoot on camera? You shoot on the phone. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's the only way to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's a camera. <laughs> oh, wait, I bet Ken is like, y'all niggas really? That's what y'all finna do after what? all these like Ken Ken Ken? All these years? Like, <laughs> Apple? <laughs> our biggest contender is Apple? Uh, Are we rolling already? Right? Internet is yeah. scary. Take one. Doesn't say anything yeah. on that. Hey, Kev, you know who you look like with that bandana on? Here comes. Too flan, Shakur. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so remember he, said he went, wait, wait, wait. remember he said he went down a wormhole? I was gonna say, this is like the perfect time. I was gonna say he went down a gummy worm. <laughs> yes, I just needed a bomb. I just needed a bomb. Oh, <laughs> I set you up. We're not even I set you up. That didn't sound like any. Two plans? <laughs> two plans secure? Two pack of something? Two pack. I didn't even get that that was a two pack. Two plans. <laughs> I, was I didn't good. understand until you said Shakur. I was oh, like, why would you? God rest his soul. Don't bring, don't Two make him roll in his Shakur. grave. Don't waste his death on that. Two plans, Shakur. We heard hard. it the first it's time. Hard. How do you think it's hard? Hard. All right, whenever you're This is all the intro, by the oh, way. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so, you know, we, we usually struggle through an intro, so you okay. guys are just... You're struggling through a hairdo, too, for the past two years. <laughs> Let's get, get those all out, 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 out of the way right now. <laughs> Since we're still this. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? <laughs> Something else. Jeez. Remember when Pat got his hair freshly redone? He, he like, hated it. <laughs> I hated it. He had a his head on the ground right after they get washed. We're like, it looks good. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that I you can see it without on my last two appointments. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I have last two things. years of appointments. <laughs> Man, let's start this show. Hey, I'm Patrick Cloud. <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm to hear more. And I'm Patrick Cloud. And welcome to another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Hey, we got guests, so you guys help us with this. Uh, you got guests and Kev got breasts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, help us through this train wreck of an intro. All right, All right. All right. All right. you want to do the beat? You want to do the vocals? Uh, I, I do the vocals. Uh, I, I mean, I'm uh, you be background vocals. All right, and then you want to help me with the beat? I'll be yeah. ad libs. Alright, All right. you want to do drums and I'll be like the synth? Right. They're going to do go. drum sticks. <laughs> go. One, the whole heads. episode of this. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, uh. I say, damn, and in that, you scary. Scary, scary. Oh, thicker than Holly Berry. Holly Berry. Oh, oh and the scary. <laughs> You scary, scary, damn, internet, you scary, damn, internet, damn, 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 internet, you scary, uh, uh, you scary, scary. that was that was just horrible. That was all my fault, by the way. What are you doing? You said Holly Berry was thick. I did. 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 I Hello <laughs> beats. That was terrible. Oh my god. All right, well, welcome to Damn Internet, Woo. you scary. Yes. Uh, show? X Righteous Ratchet. Yes. Righteous and Ratchet. Are we still on live there? We can't. We are live. Yes. You, this yeah. is, this is technically you're just using the studio. This is your show. This is your I, show. We don't want to yes, it feels fair. But if you if you don't want to cuss, I'd appreciate it. But okay. if you need to okay. cuss, yeah. right, we'll we'll pull back. We'll try to pull back. I'll bleach we'll we'll myself out. Yeah. Not me. F that S. Oh god. Oh man. All right, well, it was a good run, guys. Why are you? <laughs> 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 It's weird saying you're a guest, we're clearly at Kim on studio. Hey, man. Hey, thanks for coming, Kim. <laughs> nice, nice setup you guys have here, man. Looks familiar. Uh, yeah, so um, we basically just going to talk about some weird stuff that we saw yeah. on the internet. It's not really uh, attached to anything. Did you guys hear about this, like, TV porch bandit guy? Mm. TV He's porch. Still, still in pa uh, packages or something? No, it's super weird. So this is happening in Virginia. There's a dude. Who's, uh, 
He's walking around literally in a, uh, a costume. His, his head is a TV. <laughs> and he's leaving old back TVs on people's porches. Big booties in it? Yeah, with no, no context. <laughs> <laughs> he comes fucking with a TV. But look, he comes up like this. And he has a TV for a head, and he just puts it directly... There's no, nothing else happens. No, there's no burglary. No, no other crime. No, he's just saying, bring back the big booty TV. No, no, he's just. I love it. They look so disgusting. Carrying people them. are so upset. Wait, wait, wait. More than sixty TV sets. <laughs> Who is he buying these from? He's just going out of town, clearing out Goodwills left and right. You need to tell why people need more things to do. That's a, fair. Dude, I know. But hold on, but hold on, hold on. If you if you look outside at two o'clock in the morning, that'd be creepy. And seen a dude with a TV. TV for a head on your porch? Well, he's going up to the cameras and like waving at him. So they see, they see him eventually, <laughs> but they don't see him real time. So this no. dude is like waiting for dark, like, ooh, I'm gonna drop off 18 What is his time. motive? That's the most <laughs> impressive prank I've seen probably today. Yeah, attention to detail. That is that hilarious. Is, that's amazing. I, I didn't like know that many guy. TVs like that still exist. It's really <laughs> hard. Right? To, good they're good really hard I haven't to, seen those in a minute. It's that's hard right. to carry them. They're hard to like weight proportionate themselves. That's that's like, your weight is proportionate. That's what they would look like as a baby. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Baby, you have a <laughs> and the funniest part is that Toshiba's probably looking at sales like, huh? Oh. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this is pretty good. Toshiba, this is pretty good. Oh, I went to work man. that day. Like, oh, as soon as I get off. Jeez, Louise, how do you even come up with something like that? That's got to be fun. I don't even know. What, what would you like think? If you went out and saw that, like, would you be kind of worried? If I scared? saw that on my ring, because I have a ring, I don't know if you guys. Have <laughs> oh gosh. If I, you know, if I saw that on my ring, I do absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you wouldn't even like call the police. No, I don't have a gun in my house. I don't have fighting capabilities. I just be like, dang, this is scary. <laughs> But that, that, I feel like it. there could be yes. some beat behind it, right? Would you walk out if he's if he has a TV for a head? You gonna walk out and challenge him? Listen, oh, if no. he's carrying the no. TV, his hands are his hands are occupied. Would you gonna kick him in the chest? No, just tackle him. Just wait, wait, wait. First of all, you little girl. <laughs> I think we we have like overlooked something really really important. How do you get that thing on his head? Oh, right. I don't How know. do you cut a TV? I don't. That's like you something. just take the screen out. Oh, of course you know how to do this. How would you know it's how black. to do this? It's black. Tahir's first job was at a junkyard. You remember he, he told was. us this in his... In well, his yeah, he was a junkyard dog. Was, dang it! <laughs> dang it! <laughs> dang it <awesome. laughs> Yo, but could you imagine... Could you imagine hopping the fence and Tahir's like... <laughs> 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 bother me all episode. Okay. Are we gonna put a cap on how many of these bead bracelets? <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, what are you doing? Like, what? What are you? What are you thinking? There is no cap. <laughs> it's just too many. No it's cap. It's, it's so oh much. Oh my god! I don't like that. This, this ring on this ring finger. I don't like how smooth the round this ring is. Like what? Who puts a ring on the pointing finger? Right, he got a wedding band on the pointing finger. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Patrick is with his girl getting dressed like, hold on, babe. I'm just gonna... <laughs> his girl. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, when, he, oh, when he get home from work, let me tell you, babe, what happened. See, they wasn't respecting me at work. Y'all just mad because y'all fat ass fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you be looking at the ring sex on my thing. One day. Where the hula hoop? You say, where the hula hoop? You sell diamond and crested hula hoop. For my fat thumbs. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when I get off the plane, this ring don't be coming off. Really? Oh man, if I don't wear my compression socks. Oh, oh wait, God. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you the, wearing compression socks? You have compression oh, socks. Oh man. That is the oldest socks? thing I've ever. Why do you have compression socks? Because when you fly a lot like I do, you know the air like up Your there. Your flexes are getting weirder. Yeah. yeah. They're getting better. Y'all don't They're wear compression weirder. socks? No. no. Y'all just be on the plane all the way to 60. All the way to London. We're not 60 and 5. You have to walk around. You know that's how Heavy D passed away. Really? Yeah. Socks? He yeah. had a, no, he didn't work a yeah, 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 He had a bullet clock. 
longer than six hours. And if I don't wear them, then my fingers get all swollen up. Y'all don't be swollen when y'all get out the plane? You guys no. get swollen? You get you old. You, trust don't. me, if you had a... Nah, if, they don't. My, if, my feet do Your feet sometimes. be swollen, yeah. man. When wow. You, what, when it's about to rain? Good <laughs> <laughs> child. Just be swollen when you start a diet. <laughs> you won't start a diet. You refuse. Shut up, man. You You're back. <laughs> Your grill and hell, those gums are fighting right now. God damn. I hate the way you talk. I hate yeah. your gums. <laughs> Sitting on those fat grills like more, that. More of this. <laughs> Dang, I was about to cut. We should cut this off so we can get these. Why are you trying to steal our views, man? No, <laughs> this is for the right pack. The people said they be cussing, though. Because the people in the right pack are like, no, oh, we good. Is that your cool. fans, the right pack? Yeah, yeah. Right you know about the right pack? Yeah. Look, we have little mugs. <laughs> They're kind of fire. <laughs> That's a cool plug. Isn't it cool, though? Yeah, yeah. Right you pack. know about it. So Secretly. it's like we're a group of people that are all right. No, it's righteous and ratchet. Righteous, we're group right, right yeah. pack. It's a whole thing, man. Yeah, man. Oh, it's a, it's a play on the Rat Pack. Yeah. Yes, on, Patrick. Pack. See, man? I had to, I had to go. It took a minute. In my, uh, it took a minute for that. history. Man. I wasn't live during the Rat Pack. Right, remember, Pat, this is your podcast. It's yours. Podcast. Which is where you're getting. The Rat Pack said they don't mind cussing. This ain't like regular Kev on stage. They're like, no, we, we be cussing. So and they're they trying to steal. They trying to steal our views. I see you. What's up, Patreon? This <laughs> 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 All right. So moving right along, uh, in, the, in the vein of uh, Hollywood, not, I mean uh, burglary, I guess Hollywood unlocked uh, posed a question that was actually pretty funny. They said, "All right, if you were a burglar, but you could only steal things that slightly inconvenience your victims, <laughs> what would you what would you steal?" <laughs> And if you go in the comments, people are evil. They said every Tuesday pill in birth control. <laughs> oh, oh man. Just one sock from every pair. Oh. The shelves out of the fridge. That oh. might that might that, be worse. That is. Especially for you guys. You guys would be like, <laughs> oh, where? That's more of a than a slight inconvenience. That's but crazy. I need all my shit. You gotta buy a new refrigerator. Oh, yeah, you got the whole wooden refrigerator. <laughs> Uh, they said eyelash glue, Wi-Fi router, toilet flush handle, That's what I was stove yeah. knobs, and sweatpants drawstrings. Ah, uh, that, oh, that, that is sweatpants drawstrings. Sweatpants and the sweatpants would be just just horrible. The evil. Damn, these are some heavy mic bases. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know what I would steal. What would you steal? I would steal the elastic out of people's drawers. That's you know how long that would take? It doesn't matter. You, well, you would have to cut it with like an exacto knife. Why are you in specific? Why are we taking it? That's how I would do it. That's how I would do it. No, I'm that's where y'all get caught because y'all don't think things through. I'm not really going to commit the crime to here. This is all this hypothetical. Don't talk about this. is all this hypothetical. How would you do? Why would you do this? Exacto knife. You cut it in four spots and that'll ruin their life. Why is the first thing you done this? How to make this crime for real? He's done this. But you know how upset you'd be if your underwear didn't have the tightness around? Oh, man. Just like, it is you loose. You've never been there? That's, That's the worst. worst. I've had to have It's worse. It's, it's an like, ordeal. It's falling around the You guys just don't throw them away? Huh? No. They're like, you know how much double is Lane Bryant getting those? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just throw away Lane Bryant's son's collection. You just stuff them in your jeans. You know, mm-hmm. They're all custom made. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, you take a walk. I'm not only. I'm not only. I'm not only. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, keep going. Right, you understand me? You're crazy. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> <laughs> Why oh, what? I don't know what I would take. <laughs> I would take the batteries out of the remote control. That's pretty, I mean, you could, that's pretty inconvenient. You could just go to the store, though. Mm. I don't know where you get refrigerator shelves or stove That is not knobs. something you find <laughs> everywhere. Stove knobs? Where would you even like to I would take all the knobs off of all the drawers in the kitchen. Off of oh, the, the drawers? drawers? The drawers. drawers. First of all, let me say the word, you dummy. 
I said it right. You said draw. You said draw. I said draw. Fat tongue boy. Fat tongue boy. Fat tongue boy. Draw. I said draw. Fat tongue boy. I said it correctly. You take those dumb headphones off. Nobody else has headphones on. You are just on our show with headphones on. You look stupid. Why nobody else needs it? We all hear each other perfectly. No boy just needs attention. That boy. No one will literally start a conversation about nothing. We're talking about something completely different. And he'd be like, you know what? I don't like the Cosby Show. Shut up. No one's even talking to you. That is hilarious. You have nobody else. What you bring it on the podcast, man? No, and he's like, yes, it's not even like this. It's his podcast. I'm the only professional here. You're fat. <laughs> so are you. You no, can hear this. Because you're less fat doesn't make it a you're different thing. So are you. That jersey is holding on by every thread. That possible. jersey says, boo. Boo. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys are really. Why'd you get in your car and drive out of here? Drive out of here. Drive out of here. What player was 2003? Drive your car in here, let me kick the window. Why, why, why is that a this? Why is that a this? Why is that a small car? You got a mini car. Why is that a car? Why is that Get in your car and drive out of here. <laughs> yeah, you leave. <laughs> get your legs and walk out of here then. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> The uh, whole episode. Oh, this uh, is funny. This is like a lot of months of missing this. Uh, <laughs> it's just been like pent up. It's just like a copy out of yeah, like bullshit. <laughs> All right, speaking of bullshit, <laughs> this is my perfect transition. All right, there was a lady who says that she married the ghost of an 1,000-year-old pirate, oh, oh. and now she wants you to stop calling her crazy because she had enough. So this girl's name is Amanda Large Teague. And what uh, large wait, 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 wait. That's a crazy name. <laughs> oh, Amanda Large T. Teague. I thought it was like a large T, like she wears a large size T-shirt. No, no large T, like league, but with a T. And she said, whilst whilst meditating, she met the ghost of a three hundred year old Haitian pirate. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how he hollered at her, but he did. Uh, and he said that they've been communicating for several months, and she was convinced that this was Jack T, uh, who she later claimed had inspired the character of Jack Spar- Sparrow. So this was like the ghost of an old oh, Johnny Depp. That's, I mean, if you're going to marry a pirate. He, he might as well be. Johnny Depp was an on. interesting pirate. He was on. He yeah. was a Haitian. Yeah, he was great. Wait, was the John, Johnny Be- Depp uh, character was playing a Haitian person? No, I thought it was, well, didn't he, he could have been playing Haitian? a Haitian person. He's white. I, I thought the person that she met was Haitian. Oh. Yeah, that's what, that's what, she's, that's what the story says. But it was, I thought it was based on Jack Sparrow. That's maybe, what I'm saying. Maybe Jack Sparrow was, was, was Haitian. Maybe he was really? based on... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's so maybe weird, weird casting. But Haitian is casting. dark. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but it's Hollywood. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson played an Asian woman and then got mad that people got mad about it. Matt Damon played an Asian guy. Yeah, so did Tom Cruise. Yeah. And Brad Pitt played a Mexican in the Mexican. Wait, didn't somebody play... Who played the samurai? The last Tom samurai. Cruise. Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so, but who uh, married them? Um... So basically, they started. Uh, they started smashing. Wait, what? Hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. This black ghost has all the things to do in the world. And he was like, you know what I need? Come back for some crazy, <laughs> some uh, pirate booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of the I like it. <laughs> 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 Wait, I was out of the so he said, uh, you know, her friends were like, uh, yeah, you know, she's hanging out with this guy all the time. They decided to get married. <laughs> oh, he's, he's dead. Who got like, into the, the wedding? <laughs> I got more questions than answers. The fact that she has all a the first story, mates. she has a backstory for how they met. <laughs> right? Like, I was meditating. He came up. His name is Jack. <laughs> so oh, do, they have, do they have kids? they have ghost kids? No. That, no, I mean, what? What? No. What? She's married? Yeah, like, that's not crazy. Don't go ahead. Uh, well, <laughs> shut up. It says that uh, Wonder Years meeting. Soon. Wonder Years? Oh, oh, that was a joke? No, oh, that's, that's, that's the real thing. He just has to say stuff. He, did, he just likes to hear his own voice. He has nothing to add to the conversation most times. Well, okay. <laughs> well, apparently this dude had black dreadlocks, a mustache, and a red bandana. That's any nigga in mind. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he was dead. That was, that was just his game. He just said I'm dead. <laughs> She pulled up to a little Haiti and saw everybody. Oh, oh, it's some dude from Miami who just been talking to her through her Google Home. She don't even know it. He just been talking through her Google Home the whole time. The ghost was like, hey, cash at me. Like, oh, <laughs> 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 Connect. 
But they got married in international waters, and a medium spoke for Jack to give his consent to the marriage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, why not a large? <laughs> that was so dumb. That was so dumb. <laughs> the stuff that white people do, the amount of time and money they have to invest in stuff like this is bewildering to me. You know what it is? When, when you get high, I imagine you guys who smoke the weed, uh, you have ideas, and then you come down, and you're just like, ah. These people are like, nah, I'm finna do that. <laughs> no, our <laughs> ideas are fire even after. Huh? Our ideas are still fire after. But do you have the money to activate them? Oh, you mean like those big picture ideas? Yeah, you're like, man, you know what would be crazy? We got, I, I married a ghost pirate. And then you come down, you're like, man, I was high, high. <laughs> 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 She's Googling, like, who would marry a ghost to me? stoner self-reflection? I gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, but apparently the uh, the actual ceremony was called the pagan hand fasting, where uh, two witches. I'm sorry, I'm doing this on such a spiritual show, but uh, two witches uh, wrap cords around the couple's joined hands to symbolize the binding of the pair. So wait, wait, where did they find? Wait, wait, where did they find two witches? <laughs> witches I mean, be around. Uh, witches, witches are, are around. Bro. Witches exist. I know. I, got I, I low key know a couple witches. Stop! Wait! Stop! stop. You know a witch. I know I, a few witches. What, I, what type of broom does she drive? <laughs> <laughs> that was just funny. So when I worked at Bank of America, my manager was a witch. Wait. They're called Wiccans. Yeah. People who are witches. Do they? Do they really fly on on brooms? Oh. Well, I'm, what, I'm just no, saying. That was a serious whole, question. Whole I'm weird. I'm serious. Like a whole tour. I'm low key embarrassed. We have a podcast together. Right? Right. Right. A whole tour. This. Okay, okay, you're okay, 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 hold on. Hold on. What makes it a witch? What makes it a witch? That's the only characteristic that you know of witches. In a boat. No, no spells. Nothing. The soup. You know about the soup. You know what's up with the I am new. What's up with the I am new? So what? I don't understand what makes them witches. Wiccans are people who study the, or witches are people who study the Wiccan religion. It's a lot of spell binding. Do they have special powers? Do they believe they have special powers? That would uh, be the spell binding and the spell yeah, casting would be their they, special they, powers. They do they do it with the, with the little stick? They'd be like, how about Kadabra? I never What's went to What's your phone? What's your phone? Google it real quick. I never went to So we can go on with the show. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, we're talking about witches, y'all act like y'all. Witches, witches are. How do you not know about witches? witches that he knew witches, witches. I'm asking for some intel. I knew a couple fine ass witches, actually. <laughs> Hold on, you knew some fine ones? <laughs> yeah. You can't be talking to witches? <laughs> They'll have you eating the witches' brew. That's some, that's some advice you never really hear. Boy, you can't be talking to witches. <laughs> If anybody in our group will be talking to a witch, it will be Pat. It, it, it will definitely be Pat. Gang, gang. It is. Pat has to spell to get his hair done, though. He wears an amulet to The witch is just like, look, I'm nothing working. He's like, ah, not with these bracelets on. It doesn't never work. <laughs> so, uh, so two weeks after she married Jack, <laughs> she started. Uh, so this girl started encountering serious health problems. Stop being the la the last person to laugh at your joke. <laughs> You're so funny trying too. to dwell in the rim. It was so funny to me. Let's go. Let's read the story. Oh, Shake your wrist to read the story. Let's go, my mama. So he tried. She tried to leave her because she started feeling like uh, sick. And he was like, no, I'm going to kill you if you escape me. So, uh, Wait, she tried to leave He tried to leave her? No, she tried, tried to leave him. Go away. She tried to leave a ghost? Yeah, and then they had to like do a whole exercise. Hold on, pal. Oh, She's in a, a boo relationship. You get it? Oh, that's <laughs> pretty funny. That's pretty funny. How you said it, it shouldn't have been funny. Oh, like yeah. The like <laughs> lip rolled all the way up. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> It hit, me, it hit me twice. I'm out of here. You ain't going no. <laughs> <laughs> and really, you can't leave ghosts. You can't. You can't. Leave ghosts. They, they go, go through up. walls. They go through they walls. They are not respecting <laughs> restraining walls. I got one more. When you were my, my boo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it worked. Yes, <laughs> Despite the drum roll. Oh, <laughs> oh, um, so, so, so how did this end? <clears throat> She got like an exorcism. Like she was gonna divorce. <laughs> that was that. That is the divorce. Half of his afterlife. <laughs> 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 he invited his ghost home. He's like, yo, where you at? 
<laughs> she got took the. She can't even drive. It's it's half the school song, half the pirate ship. She done took the haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> All this hate cigar on here got not a good hat left. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> so she got an exorcism to get out of this. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what, I mean, that's what you get. So that means, when they have an exorcism, that means the ghost dies. Nah. No, it just means it just like breaks the bond between the, yeah. the ghost and the person that mm-hmm. they're haunting. Like you so said that they can't haunt them no more? Like remember you Supposedly. Had that, remember you had that brisket exorcism? <laughs> <laughs> brisket exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> the power of spice compels you. <laughs> the power of spice. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I gotta give it where it's at. That, that, that was good. <laughs> Power of spice. Yeah, the preacher. The preacher uses a spatula. <laughs> Be gone. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, the Power of spice compels you. Oh, oh, hilarious. Jesus, please. Oh man, this was Ooh. amazing. That is too fun, funny. man. I that miss you guys. So oh, oh my man. god! He really just thought of that. that is... He just said that. Oh man. Okay. Volume well, hitter, man. Oh man. Volume right, hitter. I, I think uh, that's the, a good time to go into the. Uh, you want to do the final segment? Final man, segment. Final segment. Final segment. Well, you, you want to do one more? Final segment. Was that 30 seconds? How many, how many minutes is it? Five, let's do one more. Let's give people one more. Okay. Let's four of us. Let's do one more. All right. I'm going to let you guys choose. What did you just say to you? We'll make this one more. Wait, wait. We'll make this one more. What? No. Why are y'all still surprised that this happens? I just learned to follow the inflection. He's like, 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 <laughs> I don't know why y'all still surprised this happens. Oh my God. I've been my friends for years now. Y'all know I can't talk. Well, your tongue is drunk. Yeah. If I ever get pulled over, I have to take a penalize my tongue will like, oh. Here we go. Like Every time what he's supposed to do. He said his tongue is drunk. Man. <laughs> Your mouthwash is 74% vodka. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. I don't even know when it happened. It wasn't like this in college. It was high school. It just right. started happening. My tongue just got lazy. Uh, oh, what's the, what's okay. the fourth thing? What's the, what's All right, I'm going to let you guys pick because uh, you can pick from three. Okay. All right. So there's something called a findom fetish, and it's not what you think. It's, uh, it's more along the lines of men who are obsessed with women taking stuff out of their bank account. What? what? Uh, there is uh, Conor McGregor punched an old man in a bar. Oh, let's talk I'm about always going to go with that one. And then what the hell is Nicki Minaj doing right now? Let's go with, Con- with Conor McGregor. All right. Have you guys heard this story? I've no. seen it. I, and it's, I, I, it's I saw totally the clip of the video. I didn't see the video. So Conor McGregor, literally, he like walked into a bar. It sounds like the beginning of this show. <laughs> Conor McGregor walked into a bar. <laughs> you know how this is going to end. <laughs> and uh, I guess he like, he buys everybody a drink. And it's like a, it's weird. It's like an old dive no, it's bar. His, but it's his, it's his it's whiskey. It's his bar? Yeah, no, it's his brand of whiskey. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. And, and he was just like, nah, I don't want a shot. He could have just been like, well, you're taking a shot. Why didn't he kiss him? No, he's like, you want this or this? <laughs> he's the one going to put the stick. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're giving me. But I guess he just pumped this poor old man at the, um, in the head. First off, man. He kind of oh. like. Oh, oh here it is. Oh, yeah. So, and he's also, he is the same size as all these men that are sitting down. <laughs> he's, he's so tough. He's pretty he, tough. He bought the bar. It's like eight dudes there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, this is a weird flex. Like, all Everybody in the niggas. bar is over 65. Man, That's what I'm real. saying. That's they shouldn't Ireland, be drinking anyways. Ireland looks like that, though, because I've never been. He's like, here you go, mate. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, oh, dude, put it back. He's like, no, I'm good. Yeah, oh, straight. okay. But it, it's it's weird because like what yeah, if he, he was like, him off, he said, man, go ahead, What if he just didn't drink whiskey? You're right. Or what if he just didn't drink? <coughs> well, I mean, he's at a bar. <laughs> he's there for the he's there for the pen. Yeah, he said, "Oh, you're not gonna drink it. You ain't gonna drink it." And now I think he's trying to get the like. Oh, the okay, crowd well, on you'll, be, you'll be punched. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he's like, Look how the dude just looked the other way, though. He got hit and was just like, all right, what's over here? That was oh. horrible Irish accent. Oh. <laughs> Yo, why did he <laughs> have me go, like man? That? Look how old he is. Like, what are you doing? Is that a 
a pirate? You know what's crazy? Whenever you see a white person get beat up in public, they don't expect retaliation. They get hit mm-hmm. once and they just start walking away. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even like. Okay, so let's let's talk. Either Connor hits weak or he gets beat up a lot. Because the old man t- ate that punch. He ate it. He's Irish. Yeah. 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 This is the thing that man, listen, man. You don't hit hard like You got to, I, like older people. Should be protected at all costs. We gotta protect you. Uh, <laughs> As I was saying, I was like, I'm not thinking of a way to do it. We're talking. But for, if you're gonna hit an old dude, and that dude has, I, I think the dude was 80. But what? He's wait, 80? what? Did, yeah. did you read something or did you just guess that? No, I read it. In my mind. <laughs> I knew you could do it. You could have to lie. I think the dude's 80. Everything that you just said is null and void now. Why? Because you just lied about it. Okay. <laughs> like 65, maybe 70. No, I think he's 80. <laughs> okay, just keep okay. going. We're not going to win. He's old. And what I'm saying is, if you're going to hit an old dude, you got serious problems, bro. You're, uh, first of all, his hands are registered as deadly weapons. That's not, that's a belt. It's not? No. Box not a real thing. Yes, it is. I thought that was. No. You do have to register right. your hands. No, that's not what happened. Then what happened? So what happened? First of all, what happens? Everything is, is falling apart on the story. Right now. <laughs> He's eighty. Yeah, so what, what happens is, if you are a professional fighter and um, you get into a fight, it's like if, if me and you got into a fight, mm-hmm. then it's just an, it's just a, a brawl. If I, if I'm Conor McGregor and, and I fight you, then I get charged higher because I'm a professional fighter. Mm-hmm. You don't actually go and say, "Hey, these are." legal weapons, you have to register them. It's like the judge says, you're a professional fighter, you should know that you can't fight people regular like that, because so, they're not, you're not, they're they're not trained like you do. We, we talked to an MMA fighter on one of the Askers, and, and that's why we, that? we asked him that. And they don't, so they don't, because I've heard that my whole no, life. No, no, we asked him, and he was like, that's not what happened. You don't really? have to like go in like, Six, seven, eight, nine is a serial number. Because I thought that was real. Right. Me too. But no, what happens really? is you're charged, yeah, you're charged. He told us, you're charged, this one happened there yet. But he said, you're charged differently if you are a professional fighter than if me and Tahir just got in a fight. Um, it's not considered the same. You're supposed to show more restraint and things like that. So if Doughboy's a professional eater and he goes to a buffet. Said it'd be a thousand dollars. Wait, so like what? Like I would get a, a court case against him? <laughs> it'd be a good way to suit standing next to Pi? <laughs> Your Honor, what he did to my client. <laughs> So you're supposed to announce the restaurant when you walk in? <laughs> no more is in there with pasta on his face. I didn't do anything to that pasta. <laughs> you're fat. <laughs> Your Honor, that mouth is registered in 49 states. <laughs> My mouth is registered? Piece of crap. You're about to go to Vegas and like, no, sir. You got to pay by the plate. You're not gonna... We've heard about you from casino to casino. You're not going to get away with this. Hey, he don't go to Vegas to count cards. He counts cards. He can charge for 20 to 25 I'm cents. I'm going to tell you on me. Move to someone else, you hell. You got 25 tonight. <laughs> Twenty-five to nine. Oh, 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 oh man! Oh, God, yeah. I missed it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, man! Come on, don't put it up there. It's great in your hand. <laughs> wow, that was a quick follow-up. That was like a counterpunch. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I got another. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of it on me. Oh, <laughs> Someone else now. Uh, oh my God. Okay. All right, man. Let's go on to this conspiracy corner. All right, we're keeping conspiracy the name. corner. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna keep the name until they see some decisions. Somebody else have that name? What yeah. we doing? Internet is undefeated. <laughs> Oh, ain't nobody gonna stop you. Ain't nobody gonna whoop you. It's close. So now <laughs> is the conspiracy corner. Kill the hearing music. Hey, something's going on in here. No further cut, and it is scary. There are pros and aliens, and we think that the Nazis are there. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was it. That was bad. I just wanted to. It's a remix. <laughs> All right, so today's conspiracy set me on a black hole in the internet. Uh, I saw something. I didn't read it, but I saw this. Yes, he didn't read it. I didn't so read there, it. there is a uh, there is a thread posted by Nick Hinton on Twitter. That's basically all about Antarctica. So when I first started reading this, I was just like, oh, okay, that could be true. But then the more you go into it, the creepier Antarctica kind of seems as a place. So. Mm-hmm. 
It starts off by saying that Antarctica is one of the few places left on Earth that is still virtually untouched by humans. Uh, there's no native um, population. Um, but for some reason, there's 16 restricted areas in Antarctica, and they're all enforced by the Antarctic Treaty. And this includes 12 countries, which is weird. We can't really agree on anything, but we can agree on that nobody's allowed in yeah. certain parts of Antarctica. So the Nazis, who are also known for their outlandish and otherworldly beliefs, they also had an interest in the supposed uh, barren continent. So they basically explored the region. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't know that they even went that far down. And they claimed a large plot of land there that they call New Swabia and it was named after a place in Germany. So the Nazis actually were a part of this whole Antarctica. Mm. Um, it gets a little weirder, though. <laughs> right, I'm interested in this. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, there was an invasion of Antarctica for some reason. Well, after I thought there was World nobody there. Ex exactly, which is super weird. After World War II, there was a 4,000-soldier uh, military troop that from Britain and Australia that invaded Antarctica, and it was known as Operation High Jump. And it, for some reason, resulted in several casualties and a missing ship, the USS what? Pine Island, right? So theorists say this was because of a battle with a fleet of UFOs. While this is obviously unconfirmed, uh, it's weird that after the failed mission, the Admiral Byrd uh, declared that it was imperative that we take immediate defense measures against this hostile region. So there's actually been, like, missions there that are just like, wait, well, I would say the mission for something that there's no... Or what happened, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, and then during this time, that same admiral uh, who was trying to make, get uh, defense to Antarctica uh, was not allowed to hold any more conferences, and he died shortly after. In his private journal, there was an entrance, uh, he said that there was an entrance to another world in Antarctica, and was, uh, and he was ordered to remain silent for the rest of his life. So By who? Uh, the government. Not the people that uh, killed him a couple of days later. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hey man, you shut up for the rest of your life. You know what? But wait, there's, <laughs> a, there's a portal to a whole new world. I mean, they 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 basically say that. Yeah. Disney joke. Ah, I was, no, I was, I was <laughs> <laughs> I felt it coming out like this. Is not your mouth is banned there too. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> like you ever figured this out? Don't be coming over here eating all our alien food either. So there was a bunch of things like the Nazis were obsessed with saying that there was a superhuman Aryan race. And um, it was basically something that existed beyond the poles in literature. So they're saying that maybe they found what they lo were looking for. Uh, they're starting to find pyramids in um, in Antarctica too. And there's what? pyramids on the dollar bill. Well, there's py pyramids have always been linked to some type of alien thing because for some reason, uh, natives like in Mexico and Egypt and different places that had no contact with each other were all making pyramids that lined up perfectly with constellations. So. The fact that there was a pyramid in Antarctica oh, kind of says that there was probably an ancient civilization. That's there. crazy. Um, and yeah, they, they even said that they had some strange guests recently, like John Kerry went over there. Uh, what? Some, some famous Russian religious leaders went over there. Buzz Aldrin went over there, too. And what's crazy is that Buzz ended up, ended in, you know, Buzz Aldrin's the guy mm -hmm. from the moon, right? Buzz mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Exactly. Uh, he ended up cutting his short trip and was medically evacuated, and he tweeted this, which he deleted, and it says, uh, it basically said, uh, it had a picture of one of the pyramids, mm -hmm. and uh, it says, we are all in danger, it is evil itself. When did he tweet that? That was a tweet and delete? That was a tweet and delete. When? I don't know. <clears throat> right after he went. They usually have the dates on them. I can't see that. Yeah, I can't see it either. You had no information for when it was, though. <laughs> oh, 1974. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's if, if you keep going down this, it gets really, really creepy. Like, there's basically, like, uh, horror writers who had obsessions with Antarctica and were always saying that there was um, a sunken city at these specific coordinates. And then, for some reason, there was a big, a famous bloop sound in 1997 that was recorded at the, almost the exact same coordinates. And it was a living creature, but they uh, basically crossed out any animal on earth what's a bloop sound so basically like there are there's certain like um have you ever heard of like those uh sounds that they hear like deep in the ocean mm -hmm. or like way out in space yeah. and they don't know what it is that that's basically like uh the um, scientists are looking out for some type of living organism if they can't go there Got and it. they'll they'll get the so sounds. like sonar type stuff yeah so something it made the like sound that. so loud that they heard it but they couldn't identify what it was i don't know if it was because of how loud it was or just because of how mysterious it was and then he goes on to say that there's like a, a huge obsession with Antarctica, with like Alien and Predator, like all these all these movies center their stuff around their particular. Why haven't we gone alien. there and like 
built roads and freeways. Well, that's the thing. That's that's basically what most of this is about. It's like, A, it's inhabitable, but for some reason, uh, some super government that's all like talking to each other all agreed that all of this stuff no one can go to. We, as, as, when we as, had the Flat Earth guy on uh, on Aska, mm -hmm. he, he talked about Antarctica a lot. Really? Yeah. He what was he like, So he was saying that um, the super government thing that you're talking about, mm -hmm. I forget what he's, he's talking something about like the sun worshippers, because this like predates modern society, like right. back to when the Aztecs and stuff. So he was saying that all of them, like Antarctica is the key to the edge of the world. Right. So he was like, if, like, like you were saying, you can't go there. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to get permission from from a government, the yeah. nearest government, to even try to um, venture out there. And he was saying that there's there's um, ships. Like, super government has like like uh, kind of like rogue pirate ships that'll like shoot at you if you try to if you try to go out there. Just, that was like, that was about that wait, question. Wait, wait. Like, who's there to prevent you from going? He was like saying that there's a so there's each government has each nation has a government, United States government, Mexico, whatever. But he's like this government sits above them on some like you, you watch John Wick. Mm -hmm. So you know, like the high table, yeah. Uh, they're like the supersede regular crime. That's what the super government is. That's what he said the super government is. And they're like, look, y'all just you don't. He said there's like ice monsters there and like wow. all type of stuff. Like he ice be, monsters, ice yeah, monsters. Maybe deep on the conspiracy thing, and our, our article was the key to like. A lot think of their about stuff. that. That, is, that costs money to have those people Who's stationed funding this? That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Yeah, well, he was saying these governments are like predates any of this stuff. They have old money, like black market stuff, Bitcoin, all a, that type of stuff. I have a question that's going to sound stupid. I promise it's not. Is Antarctica part of the United States? No, it's a whole other continent. Oh, You're oh. thinking of Alaska. Alaska. You're okay. thinking of Alaska. So Antarctica. We could, we could just roll past that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but, or, this has been another episode. <laughs> But hold wait, on, but, but, but geogra geographically, it's around where the rest of the United States are, though, right? Oh, no, it's at the very bottom. This is, this is the globe. Is it, is it past Southern America? Stuff. What? Seven America? Southern America. Like, Southern America. Take that Southern stupid America. grill out your mouth. <laughs> Why is it higher on your left side? <laughs> you definitely can't say the word geographical with a <laughs> real it. Hold on. Where, where is it at? On at the, the bottom of the earth. It's at the bottom. It's the, it's the south So Pole. there's Southern America. And south, then there's south America. South America. Stop. Southern America is <laughs> New Orleans. Oh, <laughs> so South America. The Southern Belt. Wait, 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 wait. wait listen. You should have learned this 40 years ago. South America and then underneath it is Antarctica? Yep. I'm, this is set up yes. for a really bad joke. No, it's not. Essentially. Uh -oh. It's not. It's but not. here's the thing. The only reason you would pay for somebody to not go there is because you it's something was there. dangerous. Yes. Yeah. So if it was because we didn't want you to die, they would probably just be like, you can't go here, right. as opposed to shooting at you. Yeah. That means that there's but something But has this been confirmed, though? Like, None of this stuff is like, it's, it's hard to quantify. Why would they be? Put, but why would they be protecting it if there was nothing there? That's what. That's what that's I'm saying. What there's there's sure there. something. That's there. the thing. There, if people are shooting at you, if you if you're on your way there, then there's something there. Somebody got Indiana Jones. Jones. I want to know. Indiana Jones. Jones was he ever in snow? I don't nah, no, nah, not that. We should backpack to Antarctica. No, backpack to Antarctica. We gotta find out what's over there. It's a there's water though. That's the whole thing. Surrounded by water. It's literally the coldest place in the world. Float on dope boy there. <laughs> <laughs> I get it there. So wait, so, so airplanes don't fly there? before. Hey, so airplanes don't no, fly there either? you can't. There's no airports. You can only get there by ship. But, this is, but, but saying, why is this, and I'm not even trying to sound stupid, but why is this not bothering you are, more? You are. Why, is that, why is this not bothering more people? That's what I, I don't It's care. bothering me now. It's <laughs> super bothering Bro, people got what? bills that are due. Yeah, I was just saying, you don't have time to think about Antarctica. You can invest money and time into something like that. Like, what you gonna do? Your rent you want to know, yeah. But that's why it's a conspiracy theory, because you can own the Ice side. Monsters doesn't get your antenna no. up? No. I got student loans. That's more of a problem than Ice Monsters. I didn't know about the Ice Monsters. Ice Monsters, dog? I did not know about the Ice Monsters. I imagined them from the first, remember the first Thor? Yeah. That's what I imagined they looked like. When the dude was talking about it, I was like, I'm like, if they hit you, it'll hurt. Why would you get hit by an ice monster, though? Why would an ice monster exist? <laughs> well, you don't ever have to worry about that. You're going to be invited. A, that was a very genuine analysis of an ice monster. I think if they bite you, it would hurt. Because it's cold. Yeah, probably. It's cold. <laughs> you know when you get hit with something cold, it hurt more. But if they are there, those ships are probably there to probably keep them at bay, too. To keep them from, I like, imagine so. Damn, them. the ice monsters? Yeah. Oh, because they say that uh, there could be, like, some water monsters, too. Yeah, they say, oh, they say There's water monsters? Man, the ocean. Ocean is Ocean's so scarier, undeveloped. What is it like? 
Seventy-eight percent is eighty percent uninhabited. I'm more scared of the ocean than the ocean. Oh, the ocean! Man, they're finding new fish. That's uninhabited mm-hmm. is a completely different word. That means it's it's uninhabited means there's nothing down there. There's fish down there, so it's inhabited. Unexplored. 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 Means they don't know what it is. Yeah. You're sixty-nine. How do you not know the difference between these words? <laughs> Why is like they find new fish in the ocean every day? <laughs> right? I'm and done swimming. Bro, they, they got fish that, was that be having lights on their face. Yeah. That's an angler. Yeah, that, I, that's crazy. That's scary as hell. Because even lights? the pressure, like, if you you see how far they drill down in the earth mm-hmm. in comparison to how deep the ocean is. Like, yeah. Mariana's Trench and stuff like that, that's only the parts that they've been able to, like, send yeah, down. down. Yeah. They By say the way, that stuff is so deep, they can't even... But let me you see how far James Cameron dove past yeah. the... the the last person, I think it was like Jacques Cousteau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, no, he, um, did, did he do that for The Abyss? I don't know. The Abyss was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that was a water movie, though. It, it was. was. Talking about yeah. the water. It was about was the James whole, Cameron? Yeah. Oh, it right. was about the ocean in yeah. pressure. That's the first thing I thought about when talking crazy. about pressure. He went down there by himself. Yeah, he was big. Like but it. let me ask you this, though. So, you know when humans go too far underwater, our brains explode. Mm-hmm. What is it that's in these other animals that make their brains that's what not, we're not That's what we're tripping about. Oh, we don't know. They that's just they gotta be uh, pressure. They're pressure sensitized. Because yeah. we can only go down what, like a hundred feet or something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. They have certain helmets. The highest that you can, whatever the equipment you can go, it's not. It's like going ten feet deep in a pool. Right. Like compared There's to so the much ocean. more. Look There's up, so much more that. The look up the animated graph because they show a human and then they go down and then they go down and they show you like the wide span of everything that we haven't and it's really creepy because it's they just keep I look, going down. I've said this before. I believe there's dinosaurs down there. Same. Because I mean, just you guys kill all the dinosaurs. I think they're mm-hmm. prehistoric versions. Versions of it, but I don't think they're like dinosaurs. Evolution, like what's happened down. up Why here? The evolution would affect them. Yeah. Huh? They happened? wouldn't have got hit by the, the they meteor. Have and, by the meteor or any of that. and I believe that there definitely is mermaids that exist. There has to be mermaids. Humanoids? They have to be because with the, like a bunch of people died off like in the ice age. Some of them have to like seek refuge in the water, and they're just swimming there. Oh, that's Don't for sure. Don't the Little Mermaid was a documentary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found it already had finished by this whole thing. <laughs> oh, so does she still Y'all don't believe in mermaids? Y'all don't, don't, don't think mermaids? Is, <laughs> if eighty percent of the ocean is unexplored, as you would call it, do you really believe that there's no <laughs> as mermaids? You would say it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you really feel like there's <laughs> no mermaids? Logic, really? I really think there's no mermaids. <laughs> yeah, he shot down his whole. Do you really hear that? Yes. Yes. What about centaurs? <laughs> All right, man, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Well, that has been another episode of Damn Internet. You scared? I'd <laughs> like to thank, I guess, our guests. We're kind of guests. Yeah. I don't like. I'd like to thank Kevin Doughboy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. Make sure you check out the podcast. Yes, and we are starting a GoFundMe to cut Pat's hair. Make sure you guys donate to that. <laughs> About seventeen Money dollars away. Clippers, the <laughs> if, you, if you cut Pat Bob, he ain't gonna have no show out there. No joke. We're gonna go back to Collar Pat. Collar Pat was quiet. He did cut. We're gonna go back to Laser Tag. He's gonna have to work at Laser Tag. Hey, Doughboy's starting a Go Gurt Me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I was so expecting that to happen. Me? Thank you guys so much for watching another episode. Uh, we'll what see they? you next week. All right. It's good. <laughs> Don't oh, go. All right, you want to switch? Yeah, that's good. Good episode, guys. Uh, that swap, was fun, man. We'll just swap out here real quick. Come on, guys. We need to start back. Hey, what's the Josh, time on that looking it? like, Josh? Yeah, uh, like 45, 40. Really? That was it? Yeah, like 45 minutes. Oh, my God. So what's the, I mean, not the time. What's the uh, power on that? Do I have to get out of this to see it? Oh, uh, I don't know. Can we just plug it in so it doesn't die? Yeah, I'll move it over there. <laughs> what you said? Yeah, watch out. This is a lot with you, my boy. All right, my boy. I got to see it through, my boy. Got to see it through, my boy. Is there any questions that y'all don't want to talk about? Because there's a couple of ADD questions, yeah. I don't have any. I didn't sign any paperwork, so I'm good for whatever. And I got my last check already. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I I signed a contract, but... I air it out. It's not really like... What is it? You can't disparage the company? Just to, like, uh, devalue it. Like, yeah, it's done. It shuts. No more. Who's going to call? Who's going to call them? There's only a few of us that can confirm that, though. But it's not time. Alright, cool. Big man. Big man, Nagwan. Oh, I know what I want to do. So this is Aska? This is Righteous and Ratchet, cuz I'm firing you. With respect. And they've got another special coming. Bruh, how? I'm excited. How many? How many? Just one? 
At least one. one. How much? For like a hundred million? You know, what I heard is he's working on an overall deal. With what? With Netflix. What do you mean? What does that mean? Like uh, Shonda Rhimes got a uh, like Shonda Rhimes got a girl. Are we still on live? Yeah. Yeah. He, um, I think he's gonna start the wave. I feel like all. I mean, I feel like they already started anyway. I think that all special are gonna be on Netflix for like within the next couple of years. I haven't heard HBO. Remember HBO used to be the hub? They kind of got, they just kind of got destroyed. With they that. got out of that. I literally sports. forgot that. Remember everybody used to, that used to I be the Gerard pinnacle. Carmichael. Okay, can I, I grab another drink, please? Yeah, man, whatever you need. What you in here munching on? Veggie Stroll? I haven't met that first famous about it. For what? Well, For what? Right. Oh. I didn't want first payment. You broke it up? I broke it down to two payments. That's not okay. Well, when you say that, it makes you think of like a button up actual like work shirt, not this. <laughs> Still a button up hat. That event, Fair trying to get me to do is a Russian Russian thing. You guys ever need uh, is it? You guys ever do quick Google search? Uh, I remember the yeah. thing. So I should keep my laptop. She out. mentioned it before, uh -huh. but I think we added you Memphis. Keep it up. Okay. So. Alright, well, I'll tell DJ. I'm gonna shoot it to DJ. I'm shooting it to everybody in the first. I'm going to Send it up. Yeah. Why are you Why are you going so hard on the juicing, man? Man, because I detox. Oh, you're not eating solid? I am. I've been trying to get all that stuff in the road out of me. Oh. How, uh, how, long, how long have you been doing that? This, this is second day. How are you not, like, lightheaded? I can't do that, bro. I am. Meeting veggie straws, guys, since everybody wants to know. All right? What? I'm eating them. We're in between shoots, and I'm hungry. What, they don't like when you eat them? Nah, I said, what you eating? You snacking in my ear. Man, I'm hungry, all right? I'm always in that ear eating, bro. Do you have a mic sometimes? About what? Do you have a mic sometimes? No, he doesn't. I'm not going to tell you got the fifth mic. He'd be right next to the... I ain't get the white cable for it. Oh. Yo, sidebar. Yo, sidebar. Wait, wait, wait. So you use the phone audio? too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just when you On the bonus episodes. When we travel, you know how these, we usually do the, just the flow, but I usually have a mic. Oh, okay. Side That's note, tight. totally unrelated, and I'm probably late, you guys have probably already seen it. You know what one of the best stand-up specials I've seen in a very long time? Hassan Menhaj's Homecoming King. Oh, man, that, uh, sounds great. that's a lot, that's a one-man show. Bro! He's a, what, how is he I, that's uh, why I'm not doing my next. I my was next, like, my next Netflix. real in 2021. Netflix. I want mine to be like. Bro, I was, I was and I know about. him. I was just like, you know him? Just, yeah, like personally. Yeah. How you know? We started like, like comedy at the same time. Man, he's killing you. <laughs> but nah, I was just watching it like this is was great. genius was great. level. I was like, my god, this is because he did enough of like storytelling and like tell, bringing you into his world. Mm -hmm. It was. Well, what is he? He's Indian. Indian. Indian? It's good. It was fast, it's really good. I was like, his and Michael Che's were ones that I liked oh, a lot. I, I just oh, saw I like that. Is that called Nothing Matters? Uh, no, Che knows best. What is it? Whatever the most recent one is. Yeah. Okay. How many has that one? No, no, no. Matters. It's called Something Matters. Yeah. 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 Oh, He's like funny, too. Yeah. Watch that. Has anybody watched that? The Tiffany Haddish one? Tiffany Haddish versus? Yeah. I watched. I watched. You watch him? I watched it. How was it, Kev? Uh, it was. It's a lie. It's a lie. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> no, Forget it was, all that. Um, <laughs> Who's the um, other guy? I saw, I saw Shantae's. It was good. I actually had never seen Shantae. Ida was pretty. pretty yeah, yeah. Who's the other Middle Eastern dude who was on Parks and Rec? Uh, Z's. Oh, Z's. Have man. you guys seen his? Uh, his rest was a bitch. Man. 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 It was terrible. Was man. he just talking about that one city? It's terrible. <laughs> it's horrible. He's it, doing it. Me and Melissa tried to watch, and it was bad, and we had nothing to watch, and we turned around, and we were like, I'll just close my eyes. Oh! Blank screen? Watch it out was now. terrible. He looked old. Yeah. It was okay. terrible, man. He's just He just really was. Like when uh, Cat Williams went in on that Miami City for like 45 minutes. Jacksonville? Yeah. yeah. I watched like the first 10 minutes of it. I was just like. It's yeah. like, bro, enough. Kevin, can you uh, hold on with that one more time and start moving again? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh my. That's the only one. Here. Top left. Yeah. I was going to make a graphic joke about walls, but. Mm -hmm. Can you get that side to here? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs>
Josh, you've been cruising for a bruising. You got to make a left turn. Now, now in your age with those you names. Should've, <laughs> you should have called Custer. <laughs> you saw 105. How many people we got in the live? Enough. <coughs> How many? 220. 220? Dang. That's pretty good. He said enough. <laughs> okay, man. What do you want me to do, Josh? Huh? What do you want me to do? Oh, I got to go. Oh, 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 oh. So what if you would have knocked this over? See? I wouldn't have, because I didn't aim at it. Oh, oh. So do you want a revolution? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It does not sound like that. <laughs> <It's gonna> sound <laughs> like, I haven't heard yeah. that version in a ghost. What's going on? Oh, 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 Come on, Joshy. I'll show you guys this damn. I'm cussing, man. We got the righteous in here, man. Oh, damn, counts? My mm -hmm. man. Love and life. Love. Love and happiness. Man, you want way too much for this, man, my boy. He said a car needs a new radiator, some electrical work, valve cover gaskets, possibly needs some gaskets. <laughs> you need to just give it away. Oh, <laughs> you think I'm going to pay you eight racks for that? Damn. With all that work? It's still a beautiful car. I can hold you. What is it? It's a uh, Buick uh, Skylark. A Buick? Yeah. Buick Skylark 350. It's got a V8 out of a 68 Skylark. It's a 72, too, so I don't have to smog it. You don't want a Skylark. You want a Nova, though. Wait for the Nova, man. Just be patient. Nah, I would take the Skylark. The Skylark Over the Nova? Bro, look yeah, at this joint. It's like, a bigger, it's like a bigger Nova. It's clean. It's got the Riley stripes down the middle. Hey Josh, can you touch me the water out that bag, please? Yeah. Just because it would be a lot for me to get out. It'll run us. It's that engine. You can have the other one if you want. That's a 350 right there. Part. I love my metal. Look at the engine, Josh. Look at that purple on it. Oh, wow. Right? That's, why, that's like a Barney purple. Probably. I'm, I'm going to offer him 45 and see if he goes with it. I'm not giving them more than six thousand for it though. Not with all the stuff. I gotta drop another three thousand on engine work and a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Hey, 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 no hey, car. Hey, nice car, man. Down. If it's in your budget, you have to trigger it in a shop about it. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> you gotta like me and stuff. He get it. If you talk about your car, it's not keep it moving. I know, man, because you know it ain't worth it to me. You know what? I really want the DC. I know how to do this. Ain't got a damn one of you double breasted men can beat me in here, so shut up. He still thinks he's not bad. Still talking about. Come on, man. It's quite funny. Are we, uh, you want to hand me that slate, Josh Hurd? You want me to do it so you're not going to get up? I got it. Well, even better. Whoa. Less fat is less fat, guys. You're not going to shake me. But, but still, way. you're still fat. No. Less fat is still fat. It's still fat. I'm 229 right now. What does that mean? Oh, That's not still fat. You're 5'3", though. <laughs> <laughs> so it you feel like you're in shape? Yeah. You feel like I'm in shape? Yeah. You feel like I'm in shape? You feel like I'm in shape? You feel like I'm in You feel like I'm in shape? 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 You feel like i am in shape you Speeding, speeding. Right to the ratchet, take one. Mm. Are you really 229? You make 229 look terrible. <laughs> if you are, in fact, 229. You make that jersey. I'm just saying, there. if you are 229, I want to be 180. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that for the rest you of your life. Like, trash. Well, you're just trash. I you just never see it, though. That tell you me don't you don't look trash on 229. You'll never see 180 in your life. the worst looking 229 <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. You'll never see it in your life. <laughs> ever. Hey, 229 nobody ever aspired to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't want it to look like that. Oh, man. <laughs> and those you just need to take whatever pull, pull you can and get down to 280, my boy. Oh, God. I'm okay with 280. I came from 486. I'm you okay. Uh, to hear you want a game with it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, just embrace this being big thing. <laughs> <laughs> Negro, no. <laughs> you know you look a mess. <laughs> you thought it was going to look different. <laughs> 
Uh, Get us a real studio, Josh. <laughs> 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 I say you're what the one I need. You, you bought you Josh's idea. You bought floor tiles for the wall. Get out of here inspecting me. You put this in the group chat. I didn't put this specifically. Right, here we go. Here I had we panels. Go. <laughs> One oh. second. I'm still mad about the Greek <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> Yo, he was mad. I was sick. Yo, you can see my feet here. Oh, oh. Wow. This is the Periscope thing. That's not the main town. Oh. All right, you ready? You said you could see my feet? Yeah. What are you doing with your feet? Well, I ain't got my shoes on. Why you got ankle shoes. socks on with high tops? I don't understand. So to give the illusion of no socks. And you get mid socks. That's what they're for. I don't know. A bunch of sweat going on. this. Right, ready? Oh, that's the whole yeah. thing. Kick it off. Right, Big you boy. Ready? You ready? I'm ready. Uh, oh, you need that? No. Uh, okay, thanks. That's all I had. Am <laughs> I ready? We said that already. Hurry up, yeah. man. <laughs> what up? This is your boy, Dope Boy. And I'm Kevin on stage. And we're going to all start it off. What are these people? we got to say it after we do this. No, nah, man. Reduce that. I mean, we can do it. Yeah, I feel awkward. Right. Run it yeah, back, yeah. man. And then when I say whatever direction, then go back and forth. And yeah, we to rock side. together. Like all right. <clears throat> Let's try again. Try again. All right. What up? This is your boy, Dope Boy. And Kev on stage. And we are joined by two beautiful young ladies uh, right here to my left. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> you are ready. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Cloud and to hear more. And yeah. this is another installment that started off to the right. Righteous and wretched and we're right back on and Friday. And Friday. And this pa, is pa, a bonus at Buzzo with Patrick, Patrick to hear pa, and pa, they pa, are from Damon and that he's scary pa, and Kiara's pa, here. All right. And next week I'm 40. And next week I'm 40. All right, y'all, welcome. We like have uh, to hear more yeah. from Patrick Cloud, Doughboy, and Kevin. Mm -hmm. And we have some questions yeah. that we want to talk about from yeah. our Patreon. Yeah, yeah. And that's the right pack. You can see the mugs here. By the way, yeah. right pack, we'll throw the secret link in because you can only get these mugs if you're in the right pack. I'll throw the secret hot link in there. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get it's always hurt when you try to be serious. Yeah. I was trying to move past yeah. it. <laughs> if you want to join the right pack, you can get to see bonus episodes first. You already got to watch a shoot uh, Patrick and them's episode of mm -hmm. uh, Internet You Scary. Uh, damn Internet You Scary. That's yeah. damn without the end. Yeah, it's, not the bad the, word. it's not the bad word. It's the it's the Hoover Dam. Yeah. Uh, relax, relax. The bad uh, word was taken already. You can join us at www.righteousandratchet.com where you get extra episodes. You get stuff ahead of time, early, often, all of that jazz. All right? I have so, a question real quick. Before we it even better be good. When is the McRib coming? <laughs> 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 I know that that joke. Is it this season? Is it next season? <laughs> yeah, not, uh, is, it, is it more self-consumed to have a portrait of yourself in your living room or your room? You know what? That is a fantastic question. That's actually because a really I good have, question to <laughs> one. You got both? I have, no, I, have a, I, I have two of them, and they're both in the living room. I'm like, maybe I should split this up. But Because one of them is me and you, Kiara. You were like, this is a lot of I was like, it's a lot of me. <laughs> should, I put, should, I put, should I put that in my room? Does that, like, if you walk into someone's house, and they have a painting of themselves on the wall. That's a good question. Like, the living room I, I is the like, most sane. If, you, if a chick goes into your bedroom and she <laughs> yeah. sees a picture of you on like, the wall, that's so narcissistic. I think it's is like it? the best place is like right when you come in, like the, the first room. The first room. So before the living room. Like the foyer. Uh, what is that? The, the, <laughs> it's called the living room in LA. Like that's, that's, that's what, what it will be. What's that you? What's that you, Kevin? Um, I have family pictures everywhere, so I feel like you can get away with that. If it's just a solo thing of you, it's it's a family awkward. is also it's, 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 it's that picture of me in this jersey, which I apparently wear entirely too bad. I had it all, but the guy came and dropped the picture off. I was like, oh, he just drew this at me? Like, no, no, that was weeks ago. <laughs> that is funny. You have the same outfit in the van? <laughs> Absolutely. You've been rocking it a lot. I like it. I ain't always um, been able to wear jerseys. I feel like it's more self-consumed to have it in. Well, you're gonna have more guests in your living area. Okay, but you, so would it look crazy if you go into my room and it's a picture yes. of me? Yeah, because that would absolutely. absolutely. Work. Yeah, because think about the people who go into your room. It's usually like what romantic Post or postman. Post <laughs> yes, yes, yes we're a sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, put in your notes that you're a postman. We get into my room. The doors unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special notes. Come all the way. 
Took a ride in the hallway. This room, come into the room. Feed it to me. The thought of going all the way to the front door is just too much. Uh, Open it for me. Lay it on the bed. I'll be getting out of the back. Put the dipping sauce in my bed. <laughs> so it does it. So it looks. It looks more crazy in my room. Yes. Right. Less crazy. I feel like less people will see how crazy it is, but you'll ruin some romantic relationships. They're like, another picture of you. <laughs> what? Like, another. Like, if it does it in the same room, like in the living room, you can say, oh, well, that's my fan uh, art wall. Yeah, you, you that's can, probably you play it off like that. All you got it all through the house, you're a pervert. Why, have you hung up more than one? Well, there's two, and they're both in the living room. One's on like this wall, and another one's on the wall across. I'm like, who wants to be in the crossfire of me? You even said that, which is crazy. Yeah. Like, who wants to be in the middle of two pictures of this guy? <laughs> Put one in your daughter's room. That, that, that would be weird, too. Well, not the one with her. Too. The one with you and her would be cool in her room. That, or that would make more sense in the living room. You what? cannot have another big picture that you know big as this wall in your bedroom. So then what do I do? Just put one in her the room? The one with her and you in, in her, her room. room. And then just me in the living room. room. And, then and that's room. less narcissistic. I and then you can put the picture of the poor tenderloin in your room. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I know you want to live in. <laughs> 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 it's a scratch and sniff. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was like, <laughs> A painting? That's the way you really want a room for. We're going to make this honey glazed rib. Where well, people can admire them like I do. Here's a painting of Captain Crunch like that. <laughs> No boy gets news from Sarah Lee. <laughs> hey, hey, send me a picture of you making that pie. Mrs. Fields, and Marie Nathan. Callender sitting in the fresh pies. Okay, pie. enough of me. Okay, moving right, right along. So we pulled these questions from our um, our Patreon, and the first one is directed to Patrick Cloud. Oh, yeah, and. Uh, and it says, Patrick, how do you feel about MTV still and roast me? Oh. Now, I didn't know that that happened until I saw the question. I was like, man, what? And then on your Instagram, I saw it. Are you very upset or not? I'm not. I'm not at all. I think really? that uh, I understand the game right now. And it's like whenever a new format comes out, it's sort of free game if the format works that well. So yeah. when, I, and when I say that, it's like, the inventor of Bird can't be mad at Lime. You know, like, mm -hmm. it, it, he, he did something and then he can't just be like, no, 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 that's my idea. Like, if that hit like that, then there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff like that. And then it evolves and all that stuff. So, not really. And I think that the fact that it wasn't done very well, they sort of, they took the, shade, no, I'm serious. Yeah, it's not shade. shade, it was just like, they it's took, true, though. no, 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 because I know exactly what happened. It's, it's sort of like formulaic. They looked at the show and they copied the look of it, but the, um, the inner like uh, workings of it wasn't the same. You know yeah. what I mean? It, does, it didn't really come off as authentic, which isn't their fault. You know, they right. just saw something that was popular and, and, and did their thing, and they might be able to make some adjustments and make it work. Right. Um, but I, yeah, I just think that um, I'm, it's, there is a part of me that's flattered because like, oh damn, like the people at MTV like mess with roast me. Uh, but for the most part, it's like uh, it's kind of it's kind of all over the place. That's true though, because in Hollywood, um, before The Office came out, mm -hmm. there was no shows shot in mockumentary style. Right. And then after that, it was like uh, Parks and Recs, Community. It was like that was a whole thing. And then like uh, American Idol came out, um, and then there's all these. It's just, yeah, it's just a tweet. The voice is like, "What if you did American Idol, but the people don't see it at first? Right. And you got to turn around. But then after that, it's literally the same show. Yeah. Right. And that's happening. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I mean, it's happened before, like, uh, some company, and I don't know if they were, like, doing it, like, hey, shout out to you, or, like, ha ha, they sent me a dad jokes physical game. I think you've seen it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was oh, like, yeah. it's like a card game. They made a physical one with all the jokes from the show, and uh, wow. it, it, it was in, like, uh, Canada or France, I don't know where it was, but they mm -hmm. sent me, they sent me, like, a physical copy, and they were just like, yeah. Well, 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 companies that hopped on dad jokes. So oh, man, that there was, was preacher jokes, there was, oh yeah. people got the, the cast from Stranger Things. Stranger jokes? Mm. No, it was just dad jokes with the Captain. Oh, Stranger okay, thing. cool, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, I look at it like this. I look at it like this. Jokes, I mean, and it puts me in a very wildly odd position just because being oh, part of both franchises at one point. Yeah. Um, I think that it's. I don't know. I'd just be treading lightly. You just want to say you were on Wallet now. That's I think yeah, that was literally all you wanted. I'm in a crazy uh, position. That's all you wanted. We got fired from both of them. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What you got fired from both what of them. You <laughs> You're not in a weird position because you went on this new show. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you were on this new show. But and another thing is, he was on it. But no, I, I get what you're saying though. Wow, this doesn't take away from Wild and Out. Wild and Out is a genius show, and right. it's, it's 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 still growing. So right. it's like they don't need this show. They're just trying out new stuff based right. on. And that's that's how I look yeah. at it, really, with 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 Hollywood. And we, me and Kevin, we've said this before, like. There's no more original ideas in Hollywood. Everybody just spins and tweaks different things. And um, so yeah, I haven't had a chance to, to see it. What is it? Is it gonna be on? Why are you answering this question? <laughs> 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 to he came in so strong <laughs> and immediately <laughs> lost. You. He said, I'm in a crazy position because I was on Wiling Out. As he was saying dun, words, dun, I was dun. just like, what? Nobody asked you. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. So what's the show? What are we talking about? <laughs> What are we talking about? I heard Wild and Out. You could have just let Patrick talk. I heard Wild and Out. Somebody came and out. I just figured everybody was gonna ask me like, "Don't." We definitely gotta hear from you. What do you think? No, in my mind, I heard y'all. Oh wait, honestly, honestly, when's the last time you heard that? Period. What? When's the last time anything happened before? Like, go. We gotta get your input on this. I want people to ask me stuff. I want to be asked. I just want to know one event that happened. I just want to throw it out there. How do you feel? Like it could be realistic that someone would care what I thought. Clearly not, you jerks. Never Keep going with your so show. So wait, when Chick Fil A came to LA, <laughs> <laughs> did anybody hit your inbox? <laughs> I just figured I should say something. As he was talking, I was like, shut up, man! I don't want to ask you nothing about this. I see you getting more and more agitated. Oh, yeah, so what do you got? Puts me in a weird predicament because I. I just wanted to say a thing. All right, please. Yeah, I got one for to here, and then we'll get to stuff everybody can ask. For to here. All right. And we got, I got to work on letting people talk. You do. When you be talking about nothing, I got to shut you up. For to here, can we get an unabridged telling of his story? He said he's only taped the, or tapped the service, and I want to know the whole story because oh. to survive, just the part he's told is unworldly. What does un what unabridged mean? You got a hell, you got a crazy that means, story. Uh, unabridged is like the full story. Okay. Like, don't leave nothing. We were, we were joking too much, apparently. Yeah. yeah. To hear, man, you oh, can't man. let him talk his truth. Shut up. To hear uh, his, uh, his question is tell your life story. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about him being a single shot father at And we was laughing. <laughs> Why? Because we have heard it before. Yeah. You know, I don't think I've only heard the the, this, the tattoo remedy. No, so just think of this visual. Somebody trying to stuff that into a trunk. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not laugh? Let him ask the question. Why am I assuming are you to ever, are you willing to ever talk more about uh, um, your life? I think at the right time, it's not something that I, I like going to highlight in, in in any particular light. I just think when the time is right, you know, I'll do it. That's tight. That's like a star's answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're asking a question. Shut up. Press over here. I don't know if it's really the time. Shut up. You tell guys literally just asked him to tell his life story and trauma. <laughs> no, no, not, not at the moment. Like, are you ever going to talk about oh. it? Oh. And as I said, when the time is right. I feel like I don't want it to, like, if you do it too early, then in your, your that could be your claim to fame. And I don't want it to be on some, like, some sympathy. Type stuff. I want to. I want to get on because of my talent, and then but could if you I drop a pop, drop a book, then people can check it out in the book. Oh, you think you got to get to a certain point in your career before you can? I would. I would prefer. I would prefer to. But yeah. what if the book takes you there, like Antoine Fisher? His <laughs> I mean, story got him where he was. That could happen too. I think. I think when it's just, I'll know when the time is right. I feel like you're how you gonna know? I'll, I'll, I'll consult. Stop bullying people to make decisions. I'm asking him questions. Letting other people talk. I know this is a new thing. It's difficult for you. Your Antoine Fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Here's questions for um, for the whole squad. Mm. Uh, what was your first impression of each other? Mm. Oh, that's hilarious. For we're here from you. Patrick was the oh, long longest tenured person at AV. He was one of the few people who was there before me. There were like three people. Him. John Norris and Crussell that were there to the end. But Patrick uh, was a big um, intern. So you, you go ahead. Three. Doughboy Kev to here. Okay. Doughboy's is funny because I knew of him way before I met him. You ever heard about the street uh, the street ties I had? No. He would not let nobody no. talk. Let him talk. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to work on that, so I'm going to let you speak. <laughs> You, all, you guys are both hosting a podcast. We That's all we do is it. Hey, 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 hey. hey. My okay. Friend, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, so stop. I, remember, stop. I, I remember the joke you told. That's how bad it was. I saw Wild It Out, and it, was the free, it wasn't the freestyle one. It was like some type of joke. But you were like, 
I wear my shades in the club. I am a G. And everybody just looked at you for a second and was like, and I was just like, who the hell is this guy? That was your first impression? That was my first impression. You had a, I, think you, I want to say you had like a blonde mohawk. It was just ridiculous. Oh, wow. Everything was just ridiculous. It's a mohawk, what I like to call it. Mm-hmm. But then I actually met you at ADD and I was like, oh, he's tight. I actually thought you were tight because you came in and just started working. And I was like, oh. Okay. That's how he got the job. I was, yeah, I was a PA at the time. So I was just like, I get it. Now we have some insight from somebody else. Pat just thought you got hired. And you were just like, oh. I just showed up. No, no, no. I knew what he was doing. Oh, you did? Yeah, I knew he didn't work. We didn't have writers. <laughs> but at the this time. This is the writer's role. We don't have writers. I mean, right. No, at the, <laughs> at the time. People were just like comics were just coming through and hanging out. That's how Tahir was there too. Yeah. To hear, um, it, lo- it low key looked like somebody just dropped off a bus of like time travelers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> clothes from every era. He had a with. He came with like a fedora, like a, a corn cob pipe, and like he was twi- he was like spinning like a, a watch or like a pocket watch. <laughs> a monocle. <laughs> But he was just like dressed from a different era, kind of like hanging out. And I think that now that in retrospect, that's like the comic thing is like to just hang out until you go up. Um, but he was super nice to everybody. And then we threw a audition where we got to because him and Meg, were you? Did you and Meg meet up there? Or did you guys come up there together? No, we met. We met. That was the, we didn't meet until we started work, working there. Okay, so yeah, all three of you guys, including Doughboy, were just kind of hanging out. At this point, you were hired. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, I crossed that bridge. And then Tahir did an audition, and he killed it, actually. We killed knew, it. We knew in the room that him and Meg were going to be in something. We didn't know the drop yet. Mm-hmm. And then Kev, uh, Kev, I met you through speakerphone. I think it was just like some dude named Kevin is coming to run the place. And I was like, oh, okay. I, just, I didn't picture you, though. And what you did you picture? Him? Like a white dude. My that's, voice? Kevin is a white man. It was your voice, and just that's that's how ADD was at the time. You remember? Mm-hmm. You were kind of we were kind of the first blacks. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we're like this whole white thing didn't work at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's hire some people who would watch the content that we want to make. Well, what was your first day like? I'm gonna tell you before you can get to my first day. This is some deep dark secret stuff I haven't talked about publicly. The person that they replaced me, that person I replaced, I knew I was taking their job before they did. Oh, oh, wow. So they were letting this person go on Friday. That sounds about right. And I was, uh, mm-hmm. and I Ooh. started on Monday. So, uh, oh. so, so, so I was, it was, um, and Pat worked for this person. So it's really weird to be in a meeting with someone who thinks they have a job still. Are they talk about I, stuff for next yeah, week. because I was like, like so for, I, I, I told them, like, yo, I could start afterwards. They're like, no, 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 just come in and hang out. I'm like, but this, like, as they had talked about that person, like, oh, they're on their way out. You're going to replace them. And I'm like, do they know that? <laughs> no, of course not. So I, just went, I was like super awkward to be in meetings, and that person was like, oh, so we doing this next week? And I was like, hmm, we'll be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. It was so, uh, luckily it only lasted for four days, and they let that person go on Friday. But oh, you were there that whole week? Yes. You That's were? Like, yes. I was quiet. Oh, man, I don't really remember. Because I was that. popping in. I wasn't staying all day. They were like, right. they come in for a couple hours. Cause I was like, man, this is weird for me. Like, I, yeah. I like stuff, but like, usually you don't you don't hire a new head coach, and the other head coach is still like, you know, we gonna run this play next week. Right, mm-hmm. sweet, no. right. No. That's why I don't really remember your first day. I don't think you were really in. Cause I was that being like quiet, that. like, yeah. I, cause that that person was still running the show, and it was all system. And they hadn't told any of the staff. They so, were like, oh, he's just gonna be coming in and helping us. That was kind of the thing, uh, the introduction the transition. Was time. Really? Yeah. So, was your first shoot the Kiron thing or the Slink stuff? My first official shoot was the Donna Goodo parody. You killed with that. With Sid. Really? Yeah, I remember with Jahan. That. And you did a meal and it was super cheap. That was the first thing that I was like, this is my... Because at the time I came, there was... It was already running. Yeah. Like, there was... It was a, a Blackie Sack. Um, actually, yeah, Blackie Sack. There was something... It was like three... Jay Snow and Tim. Cracker Jackson. Jackson. No, Cracker oh, Jackson was yeah. later. It was Blackie Sack. Uh, you did. You didn't like that. Uh, uh, I don't know. What it was. Oh, Doctor Reasons. Doctor Reason was already going, and there was one more that was. Oh, Jason Snow and Cynthia. But that Shepard. stuff is. That stuff was low key been on the channel. By yeah. The time but they were they were renewing, like they renewed a the season for yeah, Doctor Reasons. Season of Black right, Sack. the second one. So wait, I'm trying to think, like I'm trying to remember what era you kind of like, like what was your second week? What'd you do? Um. I don't know. 
Oh, those are the ones I remember. Damn, that's crazy. I think the, the first thing that I was brought in to do, like numero uno, was prepare for Dr. Reason season two. Got it. Okay. So that was like the first thing that was like, okay, this is a under Kevin's leadership. Right. Mm-hmm. This is going to be that piece of content. Right. Because I had worked with Spoken. That's how I got the job. I was working with Spoken Reasons on a movie. And and Russell, you didn't know this? Oh, yeah. You wrote a movie on a weekend. I split Orlando and wrote a movie with Spoken Reasons over the weekend. He made sure I met this met Russell and Steve at the time, and Russell was so impressed with. Well, I was just talking about who to capture the movie. I was like, "You do it in barbershop. You gotta get your entertainment because they're popping and everybody loves them. And to, for diversity, we should get Tim De La Ghetto. And if you need a woman, it should be Latoya Forever." And Russell was like, "Man, you really like know this area? Like we don't because the people before were like TV people, right? So they didn't understand the digital space. They didn't know who was big or small and all, all that stuff." Got so Russell's like, man, because they were looking at somebody from Comedy Central and CBS and stuff like that. They're like, man, I think we've done this wrong. Like, we need somebody who knows the, the terrain a little bit better. So so they gave me the job, and then I put, like, tone. All the people I thought was funny, and Tone, Jahan, Javanta, D.C. Urban. Like, I hit up everybody possible to get them in. Um, Sosa, I think Sosa was in an episode. Oh, uh, early. Yeah, because yeah, me and Sosa did Issa Rae's thing together. So, yeah, that was my first thing, and then slowly, as I was deciding what was new, uh, to get made. You were kind of like the pulse to the stand-up circuit. Yeah, and that was another thing. They didn't know how to uh, know about anybody who wasn't headlining the Laugh Factory. You right. know what I mean? Right, right. There's a lot of people underneath those people. Right. There's features and all that stuff. All right, you're up. <clears throat> all right. So my initial impression of everybody when I met Patrick, him? Kevin, and Dope. Pat, Patrick. I actually, I had seen him around, but my first interaction with him, and of course we always keep we protect the innocent for the names. I gained a lot of respect for Pat because he didn't really even know me. And there was a girl that I was walking around telling everybody she was my future wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> and how much I loved her and liked her. <laughs> and um, she liked Pat. And she was like, you know, trying to get Pat to action. And, and when, when it came to him, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's protecting the innocent, yeah. obviously. <laughs> and he turned it down just based on the fact that he knew how strongly I felt. I don't know if, she, if it was reciprocated from her to me, but just the fact that he was cool. I took that out. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he did, but I was like, man, he's a solid dude. He barely even knows me, and he did that. So. What's crazy is that everybody who did know you were like, this is just, that's just dope. Boy. Like, he just says that about everybody. <laughs> Which also is true. No, yeah. for real, I just didn't know that yet. Yeah. I was yeah. like, man, he's cool. He's like a new writer. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> so that was my, I just gained a lot of respect for him just off the rip. And then plus just seeing his evolution just go from literally being a PA and setting up shoots to having his own shows, and then him hiring me for different shows that he did and working with him a lot. So, yeah, that was him. Hey. Um, Kev, I actually had heard about Kev from another comedian named Nate Jackson. Um, I was doing some work with Nate, and Kev's name came up, and he was like, yeah, man, dude named Kev, and he's doing stuff on Nickelodeon. His sons are this, this, and this. And so I had heard about him, but um, I hadn't met him. And then when I went into... When Jeru had brought me into All Def, and um, he was... He, you were brand new in the... Mm-hmm. In the head. Um, so I told him, like, hey, man, da 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 And um, he was just cool, man. He was the first dude that was, like, in a power, of, in a position of power that did he wasn't acting Hollywood or nothing. He was just like, oh, you you do this? Oh, I'm going to give you a shot. Like, it was just super cool. So I always credit him for helping start my writing career. And so that was him. And with Tahir, I remember meeting Tahir, seeing Tahir. This is way back. I want to say, like, 2010, Damn, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It was, might, might have been a little bit earlier. And I just remember, I had heard about him. Everybody was like talking about this, you know, dude with freckles from St. Louis or whatever. Really? But, but I had heard about him. <laughs> and like, like, everybody was talking about this. They're, yo, this is new. No, he had, had a rep. He had a rep for like killing. Hey, yo, freckles from St. Louis <laughs> is out here destroying the room. And I remember. Yeah, he looks like an everything bagel, but on the stage. <laughs> Murder. I seen him at a show. <laughs> And he just murdered. And I was just like, man, this this dude is funny. And I remember just chopping it up with him. And uh, we, we became cool right away. Like, I've been working with Tahir like, since way, way back that day. So I just remember him exceeding my expectations of what I had heard about him. And I heard that he was a killer on the stage. I love though we're like, you know, I've got my expectations. <laughs> we'll see what he can do. <laughs> he's, he's exceeded. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my introduction to everybody. My introduction to Pat was... First of all, when Pat I met him, his dreads were just they didn't even flip over yet. They nah. were they were still going up. Oh really? Oh baby, he baby was baby. The thing about Pat that's the most interesting, he was not yet as confident as he is now. Mm-hmm. When I first met Pat, he was like 
brand new out of school back so I can see him. Uh, brand new out of so you got a meaty mug. Uh, What's a boy? Oh, man. Mug. Yeah. Um, he was uh, it, like when you first started, like when Josh and them first started, you very you just happy to be here. You're like, yeah, I'll do this. Uh-huh. I'll do. I'll grab the lunch. I'll, uh, Pat was like, I'll do all the. I'll shoot the shoots. I'll pick up the lunch. Josh never picked up the lunch. Pat would pick up the lunch. Like, Josh, I asked Josh to get me lunch. Bro, I did time. that three times a day at Awesomeness. I was I not was about good. to. Pick up. You was just you. You had no problem. You like, hey man, can we grab? Uh, I don't remember uh, Pat picking lunch. You are very hard worker. So yeah. Very hard worker. So and I remember when they let the um. They let the whole music team go. The original music. Team. ADD 52. Yeah, the ADD 52. Um, oh, yeah. That whole team go. And Pat stopped me outside. This was like right before Christmas, my first year, 2013. And Pat was like, hey, man. And his voice was all trembling. Like, no, I was yes. It? Yes. What are you talking yeah, about? Trim. And you were like, man, are they, am I going to have a job when I come back from Christmas break? Because that was all the people that were there with you at the time. That uh-huh. whole old music team. You were like, am I gonna have a job still? Like, not crying, but you were like, I for sure. sure. I was not, I'm not like, gonna let you do this. No, no, you were crying. You were crying. <laughs> you, were crying. You, were crying. you were just like concerned because they had just let go like ten people. Mm. They can't let ten people go. You stop me outside. You're like, man, am I gonna have a job? I was like, man, you're good. Like that. That was just an antiquated way of doing music. That wasn't a work in the digital world, but. um that was just hard working, and I was like, this guy's like, at that time, the company was so small, you had to be able to do everything to, to, to stay there. Mm-hmm. And people who didn't want to do that, that's who we were letting go. Uh, Doughboy's first impression was, I, feel, I felt like I met him outside of the, this is when people used to just pull up. And, and, oh, uh, you guys didn't know each other before? Oh, no, you know what? I knew of Doughboy, it was a meeting with Drew when I met you. Doughboy and Tony and Arana, all these comedians, <laughs> had a, a comedic rap battle series <laughs> on YouTube yeah. that started off as fun. <laughs> and you remember this? Yeah, I was yeah. These things, you were in it? it. Yeah. It started I, off I as fun. I didn't diss him because he didn't diss me. Yeah. Start off as fun and then like Doughboy and Arana really went at each other. Yo. You got I gotta find these. It was so ones. bad I wrote, wrote a paragraph afterwards of more insults. <laughs> You got that I couldn't put in rhythmic fashion. That, he, oh, you weren't even rapping? You no. were just like, I hate you. I was you. like, you have man hands. <laughs> like, I was disrespectful. Yes, so yes. I saw that. I saw him in some videos with Tone. Uh, it was crazy. The friendship fizzled and they just started battling? <laughs> yes. They really, and I was like, okay, it was like comedic cypher. They were all rapping at each other. I was like, why are comedians rapping at each other? Serious. And why is it not funny anymore? <laughs> so, and he had done some videos with Nate and stuff like that. Wow. To hear, I saw at, um... Inside jokes. Mm-hmm. He he he. In that band, I, I, they would never let me perform there. I was like, man, this guy got to perform. No. <laughs> <laughs> no so here was one of the people because they had they used to run the same comedians there all the time. Mm-hmm. And to here, I only got to see you one time. I don't think they put you up as, in the rotation as much as only like four times. But to here, let's stop with the cool voice. Oh, that You've been going in and out of the cool boys. Yeah, what's up with the cool boys? I, 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 I haven't been talking. I Ever since it. the last yeah. question. Yeah. 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 It's my time. I'm going to tell the story. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> right. When the perfect time in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and tell us what happened. In the you storm? <laughs> I remember he killed that inside joke, so we were looking for new drop hosts, and he auditioned. And the thing I'm about to hear is most comedians were just like, man, just give it to me. They didn't want to audition. Right. All the actors didn't mind auditioning. Right. But comedians are like, come on, man, I'm funny. And like, funny is part of the job, but that's not the only thing. You right. know, it, it, we found a lot. And to hear audition and killed, and I was like, oh, this guy is great. And you did the Cosby thing. Nobody touched the Cosby thing. That's why I remember. That's the last thing. I did that. Or everybody touched the Cosby thing. Whatever you did, nobody yeah. was doing. So everybody was doing something else. Beyonce's dad. That's what it was. Yeah. Is that what we just story. said to say a topic in the news? Yeah, and then just rant about it for two or three minutes. And everybody else, and that's the thing about auditions, when everybody does the same thing, it's just get like bored. I was like, okay, because you end up starting, and you don't know that you're saying the same jokes as everybody else. Right. You, nah, because you, you, you should. Well, you but, should. Yeah, but you, you picked a whole different topic and had funny jokes, and I was like, oh, this guy's got it. I didn't know you were going to stay around that long. And then I remember when we were going to keep you for a long time, when you and Meg both, y'all got tased. Mm-hmm. Before y'all have full time jobs, y'all like we'll get tased. I was like, y'all don't even work here yet. They're like, no nah, man, we get down. You get down. That's crazy. And they got tased. And I was like, oh, we gotta bring them on. Actually, Dad said bring them on full time. All right, go ahead. Uh, Pat, I met at the job. Um, he was just running stuff. I always saw him like just shuffling around and then going to door, going to room, close the door. I'm like, I don't see what's on that door. Uh, but he always was cool. Always was approachable. I didn't even really know his 
position when I first met Pat. I just I didn't was like, <laughs> what's your position? It was just you work here. Do what he's uh, doing. Yeah, man. So he was just always cool and um he was like uh I think at the time Doughboy used to go in like the streets is in, but nobody was roasting at A D D. Like oh, nobody was yeah. roasting at all. Oh, so yeah. I came in just like messing with people, roasting and then um uh, I was talking to Pat about, yo, man, I should do a roast show. Like, we should just roast some stuff like that. And then he asked, I think him or Dad asked me to roast Teddy and Doughboy at the same time. Oh, man. And you it was just, them up. It was just a lot of fun with that. And then uh, Doe, like you said, we met super long ago, like 2010, 2009. And I, <laughs> the one thing about Doe is that his confidence is only matched by his talent. And I mean that in the highest level. Nice I did not see that coming. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was going to be a match by whiskey. Me and like, like, Doe go back and forth. There's love, <laughs> hate. There's uh, just just tear down and lift up. But he is one of the most talented and con uh, consistent people I've ever met in my life. Like, I will okay. never not attest to that. He will write, he will create, he will stay at it. Doe is extremely talented. That's why when, like, when people. Come at him in the comments on some other stuff. Like I, I know how hard he's worked to get where he is through sobriety and through his career climb. So I always like yo fall back because I know what that struggle's like. So that's that's dope. But yeah, we used to shoot sketches together way before, way before ADD. We were shooting sketches in his apartment. <laughs> with his oh shows. man! Yeah, word. Doe had a we shirt did, on. Uh, that's the thing I don't yeah. like. Yeah. Is that the one where yeah. there's a bunch of big people with no shirt on? Yeah, we, it, yeah. Was, yeah. it was me, you, oh, Craig was in there. Craig was in it. Tony, Jade, Jade was in it. It was that Clayton. You said it was. It smelled weird. There <laughs> was a lot of weird smells in that, that apartment. I'm not gonna hold you. You were taking your shirt off a lot back then. Yeah, the confidence, man. The confidence. I wanted to embrace it. Um, and then Kev, I met. Um, when I first started working at ADD, I had heard your name in a lot of different circles. Everybody spoke, everybody I, I came into contact with that spoke of you always spoke super highly of you. So your reputation preceded itself, and it, it is nothing short of unworthy because you surpass it so much. Kevin's one of the most just. You just Where is this coming from? Yeah, yeah, man, man, I wish you I wish the went first. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get all facts. Yeah. No compliments. He's one of the most trustworthy and loyal people I've ever met in my life, uh, and he displays a lot of the characteristics that make you want to do better as a person. And he kept his word. Every and this, I'm gonna like, tell this quick story. And I'm gonna go. Where are you going? <laughs> I didn't want to go. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> so I got I got hired on part time, and then they said that they're gonna keep us. And then we got hired on full time. Then we moved to downtown, and the drop is doing great numbers. We're super excited about it. And then uh, on one Monday, Kev sits me in and Meg's society says, "Hey man, listen, uh, they got to cancel the drop because the budget." And we didn't even think the budget was that bad, but we found out later what people were doing that made it look look horrible. But it wasn't that bad. But because of the way it looked on paper, they had to cancel it. He's like, you guys are good. You'll take on other roles. Your roles, you'll absorb more responsibilities, but you'll still be with the company. We're like, cool, okay. So we go the whole week shooting the drop. Friday comes. Kev is like, Tier, can I talk to you for a second? Nobody that says, can I talk to you for a second and uses these two fingers, it's never, ever going to be a good conversation. He's like, yeah, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, We're going to his office. He's like, hey, man, got to let you go. <laughs> Wait, that happened the same week? Yeah. The same week. I'm going to tell you what, though. Let me tell you what. The same week. Let me tell you what. They Dude. were producers for a long time. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what. I what? fought in meetings that whole week. Because on Monday, it was like, oh, just cancel the drop. We can keep them. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, actually on Thursday, they were like, hey, man, we actually, we got to let one of them go. And I was like, we, 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 I just told them they were safe. I was like, y'all got, I felt like, I felt so stupid because I was like, y'all got me out here looking dumb. I just told this man, if it was the case, I would have been like, I would have just told you, look, man, I don't know what's going to happen. Right. Right. All I know is what I know. Because you yeah. know, I'm, I never yeah. was going to say that that wasn't right. true. So the information I gave you was mm -hmm. what I knew at the time. And I, bro, we got into some yelling over this. Because I was like, bro, y'all got me out here looking dumb. I done told this man his job is saved. We done cut all this from the budget. Well, the truth is there was less money available than even I thought. 
So anyway, I was I was really upset about that. Yeah, it was it was it was so crazy. And all I really cared about was like when my insurance is gonna run out. I still need to get my teeth worked on. So that's that's all I was like. Well, what's my insurance? <laughs> to hear to hear said he never put both feet down at, at all day. Oh no, no. Nah. Like, this is Hollywood. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I was like, like I was one foot out, one foot in the entire time because you never know what startup. Like the first five years are always the shakiest. Yeah. And like people were getting let go a lot. Like oh, every, basically every two the months. The turnover was insane. It was every like, October it was Black October. Yeah. It 10, was 15 people got let go every, every October. Every October. So it was like, man, I never got a chance to really get comfortable. I love the people. I worked with but like as far as comfortability I didn't I never so I was always like first in last out I come yeah. early just to make sure the lights still on and none of that work you still got let go <laughs> still got fired. <laughs> Same uh, week, wait so. so what timeline were you guys producing all this stuff For, what do you on mean? like there was a time where to hear was on staff, not just doing the drop, but he was in great right. taste, he was producing bad news, like 20, 2016. Yeah. Yeah, but when was that in this timeline? Oh, so I got let go October twenty seventeen. Uh, and we we started producing uh, when shortly after we moved. Basically, after Meg did her first thing, the the church thing, uh, why people go to a black church for the first time. Like probably like three months after that, I had to start producing. It was like you gotta you gotta do more than just a drop. Was that bad news? No, bad news bad came. News later, right? Yeah, that was the bad news. Was like I don't even think I I think I might have been contract at the time. Of Are bad you news. serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So from from wow. October up until. Earlier this year, I, it was all contract. Everything I was doing was his contract work. Mm-hmm. Right. So, oh, sorry, I have one more for you, Pat. Did uh, Pat take Quantrell back? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk about Quantrell for a second because that was a yeah. no one other time. joke that was said one time lasted so. I don't know. Here's that the would worst. ham on you for like <laughs> five minutes. Here's on that the, great taste. The worst part about that joke is that you guys, it became a thing because it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> when the internet got a hold of it, it's not being creative. It was right. just like, where's Quantrell? And I'm, like, I'm like, what? And then there'd be like five comments with like, dead, or like, skull. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you guys really think that's hilarious? So, it's still going. So it's, still going. it's over a year. It's over a year. It's, it's, it's not even a thing anymore. Time. It's just like, okay, this guy saw great taste and is like, I can connect. Oh, <laughs> man. man. We, we did that. For, that was, that was one of the funniest. That was really one of the questions oh, you chose. I just spelled his name. Yeah. He had a shirt, man. Q-U-A. <laughs> All right, guys. And the funny thing about it is almost everybody spells it the same. Q-U-A-N-T-R-E-L-L. Oh, good time. Yeah. Patrick's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick would be a woman. Let's not play about it. That's a weird just thing to say to another man. It is kind of strange. <laughs> I didn't like it. Anything. I didn't you like it. Pat, we're glad you did. be the woman. That, okay, uh, there's context there. The first time you said it, yeah. I was like, what is, what is going on here? <laughs> Shut up, Josh. All right, sorry. Uh, and a common question is, are your, what are your favorite ADD moments? Mm. Let's go the other way, right to left this time. All right. Um, so let me think where I would start. It. I have a couple. Oh, right to left. My favorite oh. would probably be the camar- camaraderie that was built and then filming Great Taste. Ah. Great Taste was just... Ah. Great Taste was... It was just a fun... It was one of those shows that we looked forward to doing. Dad Jokes was fun. Bad News was fun. But Great Taste, man, you, you, you never know what somebody going to come with. It was almost as creative as Roast Me. But with Roast Me, it's, it's always mean-spirited. But mm-hmm. Great Taste was just like... It was just fun. It, inv- it involved us to something kind of mean-spirited toward the end, but... I think Great Taste was different because it was just people who worked there. Yeah, like the, the, the best yeah. episode to me is like with five people from the squad. Yeah, right? even Trevor. Trevor held it down when he oh, yeah. Great Taste, man. Yeah, I'm sick of how big Trevor. Shout out Trevor. Trevor is so safe out here. Uh, my my favorite moments. Oh wait wait wait! And lunch. More? And lunch. Lunch time was, was oh, oh man, man. It was every just, lunch was great, great man. Lunch ADD was like a big we school free lunch? high school. Yeah, like, it was like a cool, school. small, private high school. Because before, we got lunch catered, so we were just in the, the building all throughout lunch, and that was hilarious. But then when we had to leave, that was also fun. Man. <laughs> Did they ever catch the food bed? Huh? Did they ever catch the yeah, food bed? I think it was Ted. Ted. Yeah. It was who? Ted. Teddy. Oh really? Oh yeah. The food bandit. I think, no, they did. They 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 had him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just never good. Really? They, they didn't tell him. This looking like a California bear <laughs> falling <laughs> <in. laughs> <laughs> through a. I can't oh, find. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> he's just he's a, the on. free spray. He's just like, get the camera. CCTV Why footage. is this music accompanying it? <laughs> <laughs> you sit down. I'm sorry, you got to find just crawl out in the L.A. huddle. He's where he gets into the knapsacks. So I have a couple. I, uh, in addition to what you said, a specific great taste moment is when to hear a, a napkin dip in oh ranch. My God. Oh, I wow. have watched that episode so wow. many, and I'm genuinely surprised that he really, he really every time. napkin and did it every time. Uh, we went camping. The first time I ever went camping in my life is when we all went camping. Oh, that was crazy. Really? The first time, yeah. No that was my f last straw, because I was just like, after that. Yeah, like, that's when you're like, like okay, guys. This we is do this thing. all the time. That was really my first time. Um, Nobody had some interesting relationship issues. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, nah, I heard all about <laughs> it, though. You said it. You said it. You said it. the innocent. Protect the innocent. It was just a lot. I don't even know which one you're... You just had so many. I just don't. Don't. I don't want you to. innocent. You can't be out here. We're not. We're not. Do no, not. Don't do it? No, no. Oh, Maybe when we God. go off for the Patreons only, but no. Uh, <laughs> no I, I don't even know if you should say no, that. No. That, Bubble Soccer. <laughs> bubble Alice Soccer. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that's soccer. when we did Fat Drake and Bright Future. Yeah, Same we day? did. Yeah. yeah. Bubble Soccer. Oh, was, it sure that is. That was lit. Oh, we did show I a love that video song. in there. Yep. Yeah, we, we had, had, had Ayana the, the um, used to this. Yep. Remember when we had Ayana the artist there? Yeah. I totally forgot about that. I got two more. Jesus. When Doughboy raced Ike backwards because the whole company went outside <laughs> in the middle of a work day and went across the street to a parking lot and we raced each other. And it was more than you. Yeah. Like he lost and the he Ike. beat me backwards. He beat you backwards. Meg beat you in boots. Shut up. <laughs> I, it, we had a whole bunch of The CEO was outside at 3 o'clock on like a Thursday. We were racing in the parking lot. And then the million subs party, which was just completely utterly Ooh, ridiculous. That was just million subs excess spending. It was oh, unnecessary. That was joy and pain. That it was unnecessary. What did they spend? Did they spend like thirty on that? Are we protecting oh, the no, innocent with like that? Fifty or seventy-five. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <Let's, laughs> you want to tell that story too? No, no, no. no, 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 no was an innocent in that. You don't want to tell that. You don't want to tell that story. Protect me. Protect me at all costs. Um, my favorite moments at all. Okay, shut up. That's why they got. That's why they fired you. <laughs> what the you best thing that could ever happen to me? I'm not gonna hold. That's great. Okay. Right so, all right. What I liked um, most about all that. Number one, Snacks. I would say. I know these were moments. Uh, moments. Oh, yeah, it's moments. I have three. Fat Drake. Hotline, hot time bling. That was my like first big joint by myself. Like, it was hard to talk to after a while. Oh, you yeah. couldn't say much to me. Twenty two million. That was, that that was the biggest ADD video for a long time. Yeah. Twenty two million on Facebook. That was that was a moment. Um, we came so, up with that name on Patreon. Uh, not Patreon. On Periscope. We did. Somebody gave us that name. What, that drink? No, the no, hot, sign hot sign bling. We were trying to think of a parody to do for Hotline Bling. And somebody was like, Hot Sign Bling with Krispy Kreme. And we were like, me and Doughboy both were just like, <sighs> it was so clear. We were like, we need to shoot this now. Yes, that. Um, and then Traffic Jams. Mm. I loved Make Noise! <laughs> I loved. Scary. <laughs> Did anybody notice his both of his two yeah, best ADD moments are just him? Are you are you are you surprised? We're not in these. <laughs> are you surprised? I didn't think to do one that kind of have the Snapchat filter on my stomach. <laughs> 46, 46 million. Forty six million. Forty one million. That um, thing was so funny because that was just random. We were just that was at lunch. lunch. We were just that's exactly lunch. what we're talking about with the right. lunch. It was it was just, just, that's when I realized you never know. You never know you what's going to work. You just got to pull. I mean, to hear it got next to it and then it wouldn't go on you and you had your face there. And it went on my Snapchat stomach. Snapchat thought your stomach was more of a face than an actual face. Yeah. And it, oh, it was so good, man. Good. Those are my favorite. Uh, favorite There's moments. no more that don't have you in it. Or just, or, just, or just us? I love me some meat. <laughs> <laughs> I have two pictures of meat painted on me in my living room. He wore, that, he wore that jacket at the hot sign bling. For, it was not even cold outside. Was it just to get recognized? Yes. Take no, the, I, I have one that I have. I have no, one that wasn't me. One. No, no, I, have one, I have one that wasn't me. The major deal premiere. 
Oh yeah, that was lit. Cause y'all really did a whole movie. That, that was, was fun. fun. That was yeah. That was it fun. felt that like a legit. Like so, I mean, it was. Yeah, I had on the suit. First oh, time I seen him. Don't had on the suit with tennis shoes. I did. He got that burning to Kirk. Go back to Kirk. Kirk set up. What do you got there, Patrick? Um, the, the major deal. <laughs> the major deal premiere was lit, but I blacked out, so I don't remember the second half of it. Mm-hmm. The, <laughs> the, well, I'm sure the, I'll put a drug in. <laughs> 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 I'm sure I'll put a drug in. Date rape drug. I don't think. I don't think date rape. I didn't even know that we had those kind of boundaries. Side note, I think your I think past performance in Major Deal was slept right. on. The funniest thing about Major Deal we had no money. We had to do a movie with just people who worked there and, and our friends. That's hilarious. You did they, 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 they let him talk. I'll I'll show up sometimes. Yeah, was, <laughs> that, the production of that was a good moment because I was like, okay, this this is something bigger than YouTube. Like yeah. I can see that everybody would be comfortable in something that's bigger than this. Yeah. Um, I think that there was a lot of peak moments in Roast Me season four and five uh, that was just kind of like a, just when everybody's, everybody in the room is laughing like that, there was a couple of golden moments that I was just like, all right, this is dope. And I would I would also say the trip to the TBS, um, the TBS uh, Comedy Festival. Oh, that York. was lit. The when I got scammed York. for the ticket. Yo. The trips to New York, that was Oh, great. to hear what? Look, oh, to hear you weren't there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard you already. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was it like at the other place? You know what? You know what? No, let's, let's break this one down. Let's break, break this one down. Let's break this one down. So, as you don't really have to claim for him, NDD decides to go to New York, right? Uh-huh. It was supposed to be Kev, John, me, Meg. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe Pat, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe Pat. Don't worry. <laughs> it was I not sure. I, 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 I can't remember Pat. I didn't know all the, I didn't know all the points. All I know is Doughboy was not supposed to go. <laughs> Doughboy yeah, do pitched the B word. I mean, flat oh, out, basically man. cried. Oh, well, I can't go. Well, fine. 22 million. Fat Drake. Through Are you whole, serious? That the whole voice is fine. I went and you <laughs> didn't. <laughs> through a whole thing, right? Yeah. Now, I, mean, I, confirm, I, confirm, I, I confirm with Kev about the trip. I confirm with Kev because I was like, all right, well, cool. I'm going to book some shows out there. I booked, I booked four shows in New York, right? I pulled up. Hit me up like, yo. You actually had a reason to be there. You can't go. <laughs> what was and then, and then, as I can go, guess who is going to go? Right? Favor ain't so, fair. So, wait, so, so, Favor so ain't fair. I had already booked the shows, so I went in here and still went to New York and did my shows. They hit me up. I think John hit me up. I was like, yo, what's up, man? Where you at? You want to link up? No, I don't want to link up. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Judas is. <laughs> this is how people knew I was fired because they posting videos from the airplane. Oh, New York, man, and all of this type of stuff. We having a good time. Everybody was like, yo, what's to hear? Everybody, that everybody, everybody that, everybody's yeah, there. Right. So no, that's why you didn't go? No. What happened was to, it was the whole comedy team was supposed to go, and they all didn't get to go. And Doughboy did because, <laughs> because he was gonna be in the episode. They felt like Doughboy being in the dad jokes episode would be better after he cried and complained. I didn't cry and complain. Right? No, he definitely cried and complained. Cried. That's I mean that well, sounds. Cried and complained got me on the plane. Yeah, he, Where did he, get he, you? He definitely went. I to still pulled up. up. <laughs> I'm on the court. My boy and did my shows. I don't care. I don't, I don't remember crying either. That's crazy. Yeah, I would have quit. I guess you. <laughs> You didn't really have to. I quit. About that, you're fired. <laughs> well, you just admit to that, here's your job. I'm going to take this treatment. I'm going to quit. We fired you a week ago, my boy. I'm putting in for two weeks. Uh, three days ago was your last day. Uh, here's a question. Serious question. Does Uh-oh. it drive you guys nuts when Doughboy just says stuff and tries to argue? Oh, you I don't do that. You I don't do it. that. I don't do that. You seriously think that? What's the next what? <laughs> you don't do that. I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> oh. Doughboy does it on purpose. Oh, no. Doughboy needs attention the way a child needs gratification. Like What's gratification? <laughs> you need a speech therapist? Like you need a speech therapist? He cannot go literally Your five minutes back. without talking. <laughs> <laughs> we would be on tour. He'd be like, I'm not saying anything for the rest of the tour. Literally three minutes later. As a later. punishment? <laughs> like, he, just, he just, he can't shut up. We were like, please. <laughs> if you could do that, that'd be great. Well, no, you, well, say that. you know what? For the rest of this episode, that's it. <laughs> Finish without me. You just <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, here's one, a, good, a good one from Nikki. Uh, did you guys learn anything? What? Whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Ah, hey come here. The pop oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on, man! Get him out of here! 
Beer day connectors, oh, beach day connectors. Come on, man, get it together. Protect your life. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, did you guys learn um, anything from each other in terms of com comedic style or otherwise? I learned a lot from Kevin and Tahir and Tony Baker. Shout out to him and Jason um, on the tour. Um, just, um, I think. I think because I had to take over and, and host a couple times that, that Tahir uh, wasn't there. And he's a master at hosting. He's... Hold on. What? You want to just check your emails the whole episode? Did we check emails during... No. Is that a scary? No, we did not. I'm, asking, I'm looking for questions. That's the only reason you that I seen you. So you're texting, wow. emailing, you want to join us in the episode? Wow. Do you have anything to wow. talk about? First wow. Of all, I was literally just... Returning something, and you've done the same thing because Chris also has texted you a couple times. My boss, have I responded? Yes, yes. Responded. no, I have not. Cue it up, let me see. Okay, Ooh. you want to see? Yes. I'm gonna go right Ooh. to that merch thing. Right. Right. right here, no, no, what's That's there? Yesterday. Okay, what time is that? 4 47 yesterday. Oh, now shut up. You're not gonna know. Do you see? Do you see I any see responses it. today? I see it. Do you see any responses? And today? I seen them I doing it, I wasn't see. gonna say nothing. You see, yeah, don't look out the window. Join us. We were completely in two for your episode. That's how the person he is. That's why he got fired from all day. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved it. And you didn't get to know the New York either. Anyway, um, <laughs> I see that Jeez. I learned a lot from Tahir. He's a master at hosting. I feel like hosting is definitely a skill. It's different than just doing a set. So I learned a lot about hosting from him. I learned a lot about headlining the show, watching Kev, because he had to follow Tony every single night. And he did it and was getting standing those. So just that confidence to be able to do that. And then even from, um, from Tony... Tony is just one of the most creative people that I've been around, so just being around him. And another um, thing that I've, I've been influenced by with Pat, I, Pat is, is the, the master of taking minimal stuff and yeah. turning it into a grandiose project. Like the shows that he would pitch like dad jokes and roast me, I mean, there are stuff that could be done seemingly for pennies on the dollar. And it would do better than the stuff that we blew budgets on. So I learned That's a lot. That's what I was going to say about uh, Patrick. Patrick was... I, I was brought in to be the guy who does stuff on a dime. Mm -hmm. And Pat built that whole Facebook page over a year. They're like, here, Pat, you can make this. They literally said, Pat, you can make the Facebook page is yours. Create whatever you want. You just can't pay anyone. And I was like, oh, well. I mean, was the first thing that he did, was was it that uh, the black people's barbecues? It led up to that. That, that shot. That when, when when, uh, I knew that something that was, was changing fun. when we shot that with an iPhone. I was like. Oh, everybody doesn't even know how much everything just changed. Oh, that that yeah. video, Pat, that video series cost people their jobs. Oh yeah, absolutely. That that barbecue thing was so successful, people were just like, I kind of felt bad about that. <laughs> yeah, right. I knew it. Cause it did something crazy, like Man, five, six mil, something. So it, we did black people, we did white people. I think we did uh, Latino people. Shot them all on the uh, same day the same on day. an iPhone. And my wife was livid because uh, this girl was well. My wife would have been living. She never found out. Hopefully, she doesn't watch this episode. Oh, snap. This girl was standing on our couch with her shoes on, oh, looking God. in the mirror. And I was like, yeah, we got it. I, I'll never be able to shoot her that's again. What, that's what got us the band, huh? We came no. to the no, that, that, was, uh, that was already a reconciliation of the band. Yeah, that was after the band. That was that in the barbecue video? Band. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah was, the shooting embargo. I don't, I don't know who, who that person 2016. was. 2016. But, uh, <laughs> man, we shot those POV things in one shot. Killed it. Bruh. I was like, the game, the game is changing after this, and... Shout out to Pat for bringing that in the game. Thanks, guys. Uh, that was the thing from Doughboy. I just learned complete and utter confidence about your joke. Mm -hmm. Regardless if it's going to be funny or not, half of it is how you deliver it. And also, Doughboy is probably the best person ever at taking a joke. That was going to be mine for sure. That mm -hmm. I, He taught me the art of like, he used to say this all the time. He's like, look, I learned that while now, whether you deliver a good joke or you take a good joke, you still make the episode. And I was like, nice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it took a lot of jokes on Wild Out, took a lot of jokes on Roast Me, gave a lot as well, but mm. it's the audience doesn't care if you're the brunt of the joke or the deliverer of the joke. They just care that it's funny. And when they see you, they're just equally as happy. Like, man, remember this and that? They don't care if you're the person giving it out. So, and from to here, <clears throat> I learned to be focused when you're shooting mm. and not be on your phone. Mm. Yes. That's an important Tahir, thing. I'm going to tell you the thing about to here I learned. And as a, the Christian person, mm -hmm. to hear when I had to let him go, he I was more sad about it than him. I think you cried. I, no, I, I didn't cry at the moment. But then he called me that week and thanked me for letting him go. This is before I told him I was going to go on the tour. Yeah, he know. thanked me and was like, man, I know it wasn't your fault, man. God got a plan for my life. And I was like, I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like so certain about it. He was like, bro, it's cool. Like I learned everything I need to learn at the time. It was great what it was, while it was, 
and I'm gonna God's gonna have something else for me. And I was like, hey man, like all right. And I was crying. Like I was trying, I was trying not to cry on the phone, like so he wouldn't hear. I had it muted and stuff, but then I had to talk, and I still had to sniffle. Like, oh, hey, man. Anytime we get, oh, like, 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 why are you so like? <laughs> not a good <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, so uh, Man, I learned a lot. Um, a lot of stuff that has already been said, like with Pat shooting on the dime, making things work. We literally, everybody at ADD was probably doing the job of three or four people. So Pat would sometimes produce and direct at the same time on top of filming, using the camera. So uh, just to be a jack of all trades, and actually a master of all trades because the stuff that we were putting out was crazy. Uh, with Doughboy, resilience. Again, like Kev said, to be able to take a joke and deliver that joke. Doughboy, a volume shooter. Just continue Man. to shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> and it's going to land. Like, Eventually. 16 may not land, but that one that's going to land is going to demolish the, the remnants of the 16 that did it. And so, uh, that and like Kev said, his confidence. Like, Doughboy was shooting his shot at some women who I was like, what are you, what are you? <laughs> What, why would you? Why would she do that? <laughs> she went to college. Why would she ever waste? And then, lo and behold, he got the number. I was just like, I, I need to have a talk with Jesus more. Uh, and Kev, just um, uh, man, so much from Kev. Just uh, loyalty, being a man of your word, being uh, just an outstanding person. He was just a, a great mentor and somebody to look up to. Him. Uh, but he he has a horrible reputation of farting. In the same area oh somebody my God. And, not, wow. and not telling you about it. Like and just in the like, church. In my defense, I be I be where nobody be at. No, nah, Pittsburgh was true. in a church. That's not true, Kevin. You really do this? We I were mean, walking down the steps when we were in Birmingham, UK. We were walking down the steps and you just let it rip on our way to the stage. This is a couple wow. weeks ago. Well, nervous mean, energy. Next question. Yeah. Hey, I didn't go. Hey, I didn't go. How did you get to you, you just, just you just started. Oh, don't want to jump in. And, and, Let her go. All right. <laughs> um, Come on, Patricia. My answer is pretty interesting because I was probably the only one who didn't work in comedy at all before this. I don't really consider myself a comedian. Or I, I didn't really even do anything with cameras before ADD. So I kind of learned all that at the, at the job. So I kind of learned from everybody because it was basically like a super team of comedians and you guys are all just crazy funny so really like everything even like Moo and Ian uh, I really learned everything from you guys um, but I would say that the individual thing I don't know if this is necessarily like rooted in comedy but it has something to do with it Doughboy for sure um, taking a joke as opposed to making a, a bomb bounce back like I noticed just from directing great taste a lot of people got comfortable on shows by trying jokes out on Doughboy. So like Doughboy's value was kind of like more than him just needing it to mm -hmm. be funny. That is I never true. Never thought about that, yeah. yeah, like a lot of new people on Great Taste who are nervous, because everybody who comes on Great Taste and roasts me is nervous. Right. Every single person. Mm -hmm. And that's why the first few episodes with new people was just like people trying to get their jokes in as opposed to like listening to each other. So I think that that was like a big thing from Doughboy, because you can visibly see it on people's face when they don't take a joke right. And, the, and then it gets awkward. <laughs> right. um, so that's a, I think that's a huge part of comedy. And I think for Kev, uh, Kev, I feel like you did two things. The one thing that you did was you were kind of like a comedian 24-7, which made people in business scenarios uh, put their guard down, which is kind of interesting. Like, ADD was kind of like very like, oh, I'm this, and you know, I'm an executive. And blah, 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 blah. But Kev was probably the only person to like, be joking and like bringing a... Uh, comedy out of people who were just like editors or like random, you know what I mean? And it kind of just made the the place more comedic, which is big in comedy. And then um, the other thing is he actually um, puts on other comedians. And I saw in comedy, that is not a thing at all. It does not happen. Really? That is, yeah, man. Like, I feel like Cam is like one of the first people to be like, yeah, you be in here and you be in here and you be in here, where other people will be like, no, 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 this is my thing, you know? Selfless. Um, and yeah. then I think with to here is really like, just straight up professionalism, which a lot of comedians don't have. I have uh, a lot of shoots where uh, uh, a bunch of comedians like roast me or inside the office, which is you niggas, uh, you guys, <laughs> my bad. It was like literally like babysitting, but it was never like that with Tahir. He was like always on time, always ready, but always, you know, he had the host in him. And then the other thing which And the funny, roast in him. <laughs> <laughs> he was hungry. <laughs> the other thing is just like 
he just always got stuff done. I knew to hear had been through some shit. <laughs> I'm cousin. Really, come on, oh man. my god, I'm so sorry. My bad, my bad. I'm Christians, what will they say? I don't even hear it. My bad. <laughs> I knew he'd been through some stuff when we went camping and <laughs> no one could figure out how to pitch the tents and then we just started doing something else and we looked over at the tents. Tahir was rolling his own cigarettes. Like a bag, of, a bag of tobacco and a bag of loose Where did you purchase tobacco by the bag? No cigarettes! It had, it where it had a Native tobacco American on it. Buying them at smoke shop. It was a burlap sack of tobacco. <laughs> he was rolling cigarettes and just fig he pitched all the tents himself. And that has nothing to do with comedy, but I just knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just like somebody who got stuff done. So, so here came to California on a train. He had a, a <laughs> stick with a, a red and white. <laughs> he hopped on a train like this. Going out of California. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's break real quick so we can. Uh, so this doesn't cut off. Brizzy break. Check me out. We only have time for a couple more fit before y'all gotta go. All right. We have to go. Speed. gotta go. I ain't gotta go. I just wanna go to Popeye. We need to explain. <laughs> What time you gotta go since you wanna text people all day? That's all um, I need to make it over to the other side of the hill. Right, I said, so I got the time. Oh, okay, cool. You got that time? Are, we, are you speeding around Joshua? Yeah. Righteous and Ratchet and Internet is undefeated, take two. There's some Popeyes on the uh, Yeah, they won't answer the phone, though. Robo they won't answer the phone. They're Popeyes. Popeyes. You're trying, yeah, to, you're trying to call reservation <laughs> Popeyes? Popeyes barely gets your order all the time. That's true. I'm going to take some questions from the live broadcast now. All right, guys, I'm in the live broadcast now. We're taking questions from there. Uh, this is the Patreon. You guys get to ask questions if we don't uh, get it. Actually, there's one more from the Patreon that I want to ask. I'm hungry. Of course. Are we just talking about Popeye's Madness? I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Pat. And I'll, I'll pull from these. It's more visual. All right. How do you guys feel about this? This just surfaced on the internet. A banana pizza? Banana pizza. No. Listen, let me tell you what. No. I, I hate bananas. Okay. But pineapple pizza, I love. Me too. It's the internet, this man. whole thing is that we don't like pineapple pizza, pineapple on pizza. I hate bananas. Doughboy's, obviously, he has had some experiences with bananas in Amsterdam. Um, I ate, so a, I ate a, a banana out of a, a worker's chocha. And we're allowed to say that? Well, yeah, we were saying coochie a lot yeah. of other, so. <laughs> wow. Somebody said, we all know I'm dope coochie wow. bananas. Yeah, they call it me Donana now. That is. <laughs> <that's horrible. laughs> you guys said that like it was normal. No, nah, it was a whole thing on the last episode. You gotta watch it. I don't. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Kid Sister says, what's next for Pat and Tahir? Damn, internet, you scary. Not the Beaver Dam. Yeah, yeah. Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam, internet, you scary. It's all about that. Well, Pat has other stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, this is like a plug? Oh, no, yeah. yeah. I mean, y'all, just in life. Oh, okay. All right, well, Pat, go ahead. Man, I, um, I'm feeling pretty good right now because, uh, you know, just the independence and ownership has always been a huge thing for me that I struggled with because I knew I didn't have it. Um, so it's really just, you know, I don't want to just take a, a plug break, but it's really just letting everything that I was thinking about or just kind of like half A doing. Uh, yeah. Uh, really like you know, going full force of that, and it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's Somebody actually asked that, did you learn that from A to D, the value of owning your own stuff? Mm. Um, no, I, I owned it, I, I learned it from a, a lot of stuff. I mean, I've always, that's always been a thing with me since the beginning, but it seems like there's like a new wave of this, you know, like a bunch of entertainers, like especially with like the whole Nipsey thing, there was a big push from Tyler Perry, like it's just like in the, it's in the air right now, and it kind of bothered me the first, you, you can kind of tell it, ADD, the first beginning of the year, I didn't put out as many shows because I was actually very worried about that. Mm. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, I think that that's a huge thing for me right now, and I love it. Nice. I love it. Um, for me, the podcast, and probably looking to do my own, I don't know what type of podcast it's going to be yet, but something where I just can be me completely. One of the things that, another thing I learned from Kev is like to really just embrace who I am. Like, he doesn't make any excuses about why he stands the same way or how much he loves his kids or how much he loves his wife. He's him 100% of the time and I appreciate that. A lot of times we wear masks to try to fit in and you don't have to do that. So I want to do a podcast where I really embrace that. Uh, and I'm about to just crank it up to a thousand, man. I'm going to book way more commercials and way more shows in the movie. So that's going to be it. That's great to hear. I'm so very proud of you. Yes, sir. That's nice, man. Uh, they asked, should we do One Gotta Go? And I actually pulled one out. Here's a good one. Okay. One gotta go. One gotta go. Best gotta go. cooking smell. This is smell? while the food is being cooked. Bacon, 
Ooh. Cookies Ooh. or popcorn? Popcorn gotta go. Get popcorn out of here. Wow. No, there's, there's another one on there. Or you just uh, barbecue chicken? Uh, you can't smell like barbecue sauce. Yeah. I just why you just leave that out? Why can't I love barbecue? You just smell barbecue. Barbecue chicken? Barbecue. Yes. Oh, barbecue. 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 Oh, barbecue. Okay. Oh, okay. Super okay. Super okay. Really did hit. Yeah. Bar- well, it's just barbecue chicken. <laughs> I was like, that ain't nothing. But the smell barbecue. of a barbecue. Okay. Popcorn okay. oh. is by far the worst smell. No, popcorn, that symbolizes Hold movies. Hold on. Let me reset it. One got to go best cooking smells. Okay. Bacon, cookies, popcorn, or barbecue. Is bacon is off the board first. What? I bacon said is off for No, bacon is off for stain. It's the okay, best yeah. smell. Yeah. Come on. You hear, you, if I smell bacon, sign me up. Good bacon time. Bacon over cookies? Yes. Why? I feel like I, I'm agree with Doe, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you smell cooking bacon while you're asleep, it's a great smell to wake up. It's like it's going to be a good day. You never, <laughs> You never want to smell bacon first thing in the morning and have a bad day. That's the that ain't thing. never. That's not, that's not true. That's not true. I woke up and smelled bacon, so I don't know about that. Yeah, coffee actually now, also. I was no longer able to bring home the bacon. So this is what I will say about this thing, though. If 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 we can say what the best is, the worst hands down is burnt popcorn. But this ain't burnt. This okay. is this is regular. Burnt popcorn smell. makes me just okay. So your first best smell is what of these bacon. Uh, I'm actually gonna say chicken. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go with barbecue, man. I love barbecue That's ribs. Chicken, it's nostalgic too. Reels, salmon, it, uh, all of it. Give me all of it. I love salmon? it. Salmon. Oh, salmon. Salmon. You can't really smell barbecue you salmon. Yeah. What you? So no, but barbecue, just barbecue video. in general. Like I love that smell of bar- the, 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 the but people don't barbecue. But barbecue salmon. They do. Yeah, yeah they people do. do you can't yeah. smell it. You can't smell what? it. People do. But they bar. I was just saying, all the foods you can barbecue. No, shut up. Just, nobody shut can up. smell barbecue fish. Uh, but you say you, you said they no, you barbecue salmon. Say, but they do. Yeah, it's not a strong. It's not a strong smell. Think you you smell. Said, smell. First of all, you said that you can't I don't barbecue think you can fish. Smell barbecue salmon. You no, can't smell that. I was naming all the stuff that you I know smell. that. I know. This is a conversation based on smells. You can't smell that. You smell the charcoal and then you smell the remnants of the meat. Mixed with the chocolate. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You don't eat real. I don't grill. You don't eat real. I do grill. You you definitely don't grill. I know that. You have tasted my barbecue. You didn't like it. They look like this. Barbecue? I can barbecue better than you. You No, you lie. Don't lie to me. You this? Right here, right here, challenge. What's up? What's up? You don't want that. What's up? What's up? Our adventures. 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 Yeah, right. that's fine. Okay. Let's do it. I'm you bringing your own grill. Yeah. You need your He's own grill. He's from St. Louis. No, I bring, my grill is, is from St. Louis. There's my, no way his grill is worth. My grill was a dollars. I grill. Oh, three oh. levels. Nobody don't know yeah, about your, your grill. Do you want to get out? Let's go. Yeah, okay, let's, here's what we're doing. Put some money on it. Well, no, no way. Please. His <laughs> grill costs a thousand dollars. Nobody cares. He still got to pay Goolsby. Listen, we'll have we'll have people coming who don't know. Uh, we'll we'll do like Beat Bobby Play where the audience doesn't know who's who. Okay. Okay. I want to try it. Cool. What's up? Why don't you just bring out the plates? That's hey. what I'm saying. You, okay. don't, you don't have to see them cook it. You just need to know that. Now, which meats are we going to put out here? Ribs or what? Because ribs are tough. Ribs yep. are tough. Ribs are we tough. Can do, we can do chicken. That's not really a no, 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 you no, need no. to do. You need to no, do. A, you need to do a barbecue yeah. staple. You yeah. need to do a burger, a burger, chicken, okay. and ribs, and okay. then and then a meat that. of your own, a thing of your own. I'm That's great. That. What's up? When we going to do this? Because you know I got a birthday coming up. We go for my birthday. Birthday Yo, weekend. I'll be out of town for your birthday. Yo, what are we doing in September? What's up? His grill Labor Day. cost a thousand dollars. I don't care. About Labor Day. It. How about Labor Day? Labor Day weekend. Nah, Labor Day week. We just getting back. So? Wait, is Labor Day the first weekend or the yeah, second? Yeah, it's the first weekend. And now I'm staying. I'm staying to, to see. To, I'm gonna be uh, in the woods. My sister. What are you gonna be doing in the woods? And who are you gonna be doing it with? Myself and my dog. You and Hazel just heading out to the woods, doing a little personal retreat. Okay, I'm we need to schedule a double with to hear. All right. Let's let's loop in candles. We got to loop in candles. So what smell are you taking off first? I have an order already. My okay. order is don't don't say them all. Just say one. Take one off. Oh, that's cookies. Stay. That's cookies stay. is gone. That's cookies stay. is gone for me too. Cookies okay. because here's why. It's cookies. Stay? Cookies has Same. multiple smells. Mm. There's multiple cookies that all have a different uh, smell. And that's why that's why it's better than bacon. That is true. Because I feel like of all the cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Smell the best. They don't yeah. necessarily no, taste oatmeal, the best. Oatmeal raisins is my favorite cookie to eat, but chocolate chip cookies is the best but smelling. But oatmeal bacon. raisins, if you if you're baking them, they probably smell good too. Yeah, they do. Like but fudge, like all the cookies have different smells. Yeah. Same with barbecue. That's cookie. why that's number two for me. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so so barbecue number two for you. Yeah, bacon has one smell. Barbecue would be number two for me. You oh, you're I feel like first. popcorn. Bacon first. Because bacon, once I smell bacon, I know it's eggs coming behind that. It's a sandwich that coming don't behind count. that. That don't count. It's shrimp. 
Wait, what? It's shrimp. What are you eating for breakfast? <laughs> We're not saying a gateway smell that makes you think of all the other smells that are coming. <laughs> a gateway right. smell? Gateway smells for everything. We're just talking about this smell. I know this smell means this is coming in another <laughs> meal. And then in two smell. hours, I'm going to get that grinch. No, a female is making it. Can we get it? Come on, see, why does bacon lead you to shrimp? <laughs> bacon loves <laughs> shrimp. That's not a breakfast thing. It don't have to be. It's bacon. But you named eggs and then shrimp, which means you're doing it all or at the same time. Or a burger. Who's having a Bacon is the MVP of food. <laughs> Bacon is the MVP. It's leading the league in the sense. Ah, it is the Steve Nash of food. Your stomach is so confused. <laughs> in the it morning, it's just like it ribs and grits. You ain't never had ribs for breakfast? Ribs and grits. Surf and turf omelet is hilarious. What time of the day is it? Salty and sweet. I Over here know. eating Listen. super nails. <laughs> Barbecue off for me first. What's the next off the thing for you, Kevin? Uh, bacon and I'm sorry, um, cookies and popcorn. Cookies, popcorn, popcorn? second. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why. Walk in at Target when they used to make popcorn. Oh Target, man, they don't do that everywhere. Yeah. When you walk into and popcorn, popcorn has a smell that'll make you buy it if you're not even thinking. And about then you get a cart and you just eat it while you're shopping, like that I would do. And movies. Like, oh. part of the movie experience for me, as soon as you open the door, you smell the popcorn, like... I gotta have it. Even in my best, like, I'm not gonna eat no food bad, popcorn, popcorn makes makes movie, I have an amazing I defense do. against popcorn. Popcorn no. is the only smell on this list that is better than the actual taste. You lying right. if you say that that true. the smell, and then that you eat true. a couple bites, and you're like, I gotta finish this whole box. That is true. And, <laughs> and the, 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 the proneness you feel off of eating a bucket of popcorn makes you feel like, ugh. I've never... Felt that. You never had a whole bucket? Yeah, a really bucket? A whole bucket? You mean like, as opposed to a bag at the movie theaters? Like a bucket at the movie theater. Yeah. Even me, me, me and my wife, when we share a bucket, we can't even get through half of it. I can't. Well, I'm just talking about like after you eat the regular bucket, then you get halfway through your refill? <laughs> a bucket and a half in? Don't you think? I'd be too thirsty to finish the whole bucket. I don't. That's not what I'm doing. face swell up. Side note, let me ask you this. Let me ask you all this. Let me ask you all this. Unrelated, but let me ask you really quick. Anybody else here put jalapenos in their popcorn? That's great. And yeah, that's that's the thing. Mustard. Wait, wait a second. What? What? Mustard. 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 Take that dab. Do boy, take that dab back. I don't know. I don't agree with that. Hold on. Like, <laughs> yellow, yellow mustard. Slight, yellow drizzle, mustard. slight drizzle of mu mustard on your popcorn. Try it. See. Tell me how. That's it gotta be your weird thing. No, nah, like, you know what? Every food person must, has the one. No, I don't nah, do that every time. No, nah, because mustard thing. pairs well with salt. Though, have you ever had mustard with a pretzel? Yes. There you go. Yeah. That was the best yeah. defense for that. that no, was people were putting, defense. in London, people were putting mustard on their french fries. And mayo. That's super weird. Mayo is yeah. good. Mustard I love mayo on french fries. Mayo is good on french fries. everywhere overseas. No, it, yeah. it was I love mayo. Mustard on french fries? That's weird. I don't. I, I don't do any mustard on anything but like sandwiches and burgers. And Even I'm mustard. I, I'd rather do, no. I'd rather do a, a press What, what made you do it the first time? Too. It was popular at the, at, it was like elementary school when I tried it. It's pretty good though. Try some some jalapeno peppers. Even if you don't like spicy food, it's good. Uh -huh. They should have them in the movie. Oh, what's, what's your second one off? Uh, second one off is bacon. Yeah. So what was barbecue. your first one off? Cookies? Barbecue, barbecue, then bacon. All right, so now we just got two left. Okay, so just say the one that is staying what got to go. We'll start with the here. Cookie is staying, popcorn got to go. Really? Dang. Popcorn is not tight. Popcorn is uh, good. I would like, say cookies. I, cookies. I, we're going right to left. Popcorn, bacon. I have to... <laughs> I have to be in the mood with it. Same with, with sweets. Like, I'm not a real, real big sweets person, but mm. I, if I could never smell cookies again, oh, man, it would be a horrible life. But popcorn, I'm like, oh, I'm okay. It's a crazy punishment. It's not like wizards. You'll never smell cookies, you never smell cookies again. Life is not worth living. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Delicious. I would take uh, bacon and I leave barbecue off. Whoa! Whoa wow. Barbecue? I'm, I'm You're just, not black. No, I am. You like pumpkin pie. You guys surprised yeah. by any of this? No matter what happens. Yeah. You yeah. just found out about it in the baby. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell, tell you why. why. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why. Tell me why. It, I feel like LA is not a great barbecue city. It's not. It's There's it's not, not a good, lot That's of good barbecue. You know. I know. Say where we are. I'm going to get to my point. I've lived in LA for a while. There's a lot, a lot of good barbecue restaurants, and people don't throw barbecues that much. So I've been living in the last six years. I've really been smelling barbecue. He has a very bad. I'm not really right. tripping. Back even in Washington, with all the rain, we used to have barbecues all the time. In the rain. And, yeah, I mean it would be raining, but on like drizzly days, we been. If it ain't raining hard, fire it up. I feel in like Texas and North Carolina, man, cookouts were like. Yeah, because I feel and like those the, are the ones that smell good, right? And they smell good, but I'm saying like I've lived the last six years. I haven't had a smell barbecue. 
That's really this true. year at all. Mm-hmm. Like people don't be except on single mind my neighbor will throw uh barbecue with Mexican. It's more kind of inside it. Yeah, and they it, it smells good, but it's like beer heavy. It's and not like don't, barbecue. It don't smell like they be putting barbecue. different stuff on the grill like, that we do. Like they onions. grill stuff, but it ain't like what we grill. Why so they put them big onions on the grill? Oh, it's flight to grill them. I feel like yeah. sweet onions. Onions, onions get. They don't need real Mexican food. I don't want to talk to Doughboy. Have you been to, um, what he said, why do you put onions on the grill? Grilled onions. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like you haven't had authentic Mexican food. Uh, Maybe I have it. I'm a quarter Mexican, you know. Go to Leo's Taco Chain. S&B? What's that? The Mexican restaurant? Yeah. Salsa and beer. I wasn't going to. Let's go. Yeah, it's not near my house. (laughs) All right, bro. All right, um... If I have to take one off and it's between what? What was that? Yawning over here. <laughs> Do you just not even want to be here? Why are y'all covering my mouth? I'm oh, sorry. I'm juicing. This I don't is, have a lot of energy. Celery juice is a replacement for coffee. Next, Jeez. next argument. This is all I hear from my. It was not that. It was not it that. Good. It so like was not. You didn't even hear it. You don't like it. Like what song? Tired walrus. <laughs> Go, man. All right. So if it's two left and it's cookies. And popcorn, because I love movies so much. Oh my god! I but gotta say, the I'm cookies, a, cookies gotta go. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, guys I need to get popcorn. Because because popcorn is a great smell. Pack. So if there were smell. popcorn and a barbecue, you would walk towards the popcorn. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is mm-hmm. this. You would. What I'm saying is well, this. I never thought it was competing. What this is the thing. I don't think about the same smell, setting. When I smell popcorn. Like, I know what's coming after that. A blockbuster movie. <laughs> a good time. Everything is... <laughs> food is a gateway to... When have you ever... Been, but let me ask you this. When have you ever eaten popcorn and it was a bad time associated with it? Burn you popcorn. ain't never ate popcorn Pop and cried? Popcorn's Child was a great, terrible movie. <laughs> Whenever you're doing this, I, I, that's the theory that I have. Tacos and popcorn is never a bad time. And no, pizza. I've had bad tacos. You've had bad... I've had bad, 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 bad times with tacos? tacos? Not the actual taco. No, I'm talking situation. about a bad oh. time associated with it. Because whenever I eat pizza, it's a good time. Tacos too. Whenever you do this, it's a good time. Whenever you tilt your head, it's you a good get time. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's real. That's real. That's real. That's what? What? I had pizza the day Kev had to fire me. You had a lot of food that day. That <laughs> <laughs> was a lunch. Is that true? Did, did you have pizza the day? Yeah, so you have a bad day. Well, you actually, food? that actually happened to me. No, he's thing. lying. No. You be lying, though. You be lying, man. I've never lied to y'all. Your no, lies have no payoff. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you be lying. What time is it? 2.18? It's nah, 2.11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what not did, even late to the you were joking. Gotcha. Joking. What did you get? I don't know. <laughs> Make sure you stand on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what time it is. Go ahead, man. What's I, up? I have my answer from the jump. Popcorn is out of here. It's been out of here. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was still because I've been. I was like, man, get popcorn out of here since we started. So I didn't know what, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what it was. My, we're still talking. About. I don't know what it was my turn to do. Okay, that's been enough. All right, <laughs> what would it take? To cut my hair for you to consider a different hairstyle. Just I, give it some thought. Mm-mm. Will it ever happen? That's his whole know. thing. It's now. gotta stop. It's like James oh, Harden cutting his beard. It's heavy. I'm sure it stinks. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> They want the camp story. Don't wake him. Okay, how about this? Turn off the regular thing. Tell the camp story to the Patreons. Oh, they, they got the everything. Sign first? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Are you? Do you really want to tell it that bad? I don't care. All right, let's cut off the regular episode. We love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Regular people. We'll see you uh, Wednesday. He said regular people. Uh, people <laughs> who are not part of the right pack. Uh, this is an extra episode for you guys. Well, I feel like now the people who watch the regular episode are going to feel bad. Well, they maybe don't want to become Patreon. Some things you just can't put out in the world. Okay. And right pack people, you will get the story. Bye bye. Bye. Oh damn, I was looking into that camera. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let me, let me let me adjust my headphones for this. Okay, so um, the story. <laughs> I knew it was gonna put me in a weird position because I was on wild and out and roast me. This is what it's saying. Um so we're not using the mic. Yeah, I turned it off. You turned it off? You, you just didn't hear yourself school. not talking? I don't understand. I'll keep You're it. You're the only one that had a, a way to check this. <laughs> yeah, <it's stupid>. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's real super tight. I don't know what to do with you. Know. Alright, so we're out camping and um at the time, how do I word this? 
You wanted to say it. So this bad. is on. Yeah, I'm not feeling any bad at all. <laughs> I still don't know. I'm packing up. I'm trying to get okay. out of here. So at the time, I was dating a young lady, and there was another young lady, and they were both. You invited her. Don't no. try to make it seem like no, she was. No, nah, you, you invited her. Her. Time to tell the truth. She was part of the. You invited. Sh- no, no, don't, no, don't, no, 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 don't make it seem like it was a conspicuous master plan. You did you. this. You oh. yourself. Oh, what are we doing? We can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, cut it, cut it. What are you talking about? No, you no. don't have to tell the names. Oh. All they have to do is go back and they'll figure it out. No, there's more than. There's there's a couple women in the episode. No. Really we shouldn't do it. No. Now it's obvious. Yeah. Jesus, come in. I, you, I you press for I it. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know. Please, the These people got you. lives and everything. Because it would just be too easy to track the innocent. Let me check the video and see who's in there. Oh, you know. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Let me see your phone. Yo, wild as hell. I thought <laughs> we would have the wild episode. <laughs> <laughs> They would never know, though. Yes, they would. Yes, they would not. Yes, they might know now. They wouldn't believe. They wouldn't believe, but they would know. Are we still black? Yeah. <laughs> the cover-up is the worst part of this. No, there was my bad. I know. I was trying to press it. Oh, you ain't got YouTube bread, huh? Broke boy. Broke, Broke boy, boy, I don't need you. Who has YouTube bread? Kim. For no reason at all. No, I have, so I don't have to watch that. Yeah, still has cable I, too. I did it. Yeah, I'm just talking about turning it off. Yes, Hulu. Mind oh, your business. YouTube Red and cable. That's because my kids don't watch TV. But I have cable. You have YouTube TV? You might as well have YouTube TV, no. TV then. They wouldn't have done Yeah, there's only three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's only three people here. All right, so maybe we can just leave that story alone. I thought there was more people in no. this episode. No. You got to give them something Good else catch. exclusive, though. All right, well, something else exclusive. Let me go back to the. We pay our dues for this. You don't pay for that. <laughs> that store will have. Um, no, no, no. That'll give me a phone call. That, yeah, that store will have um, uh, other repercussions. All right, let me go back to the Patreon question. Just tell another uh, horrible thing you did. Like. You can tell the story of um, the uh, oh, the main sales party. Yeah. Why it always had to be my story? You You're met, the one that pitched you it. You asked for all of it. It started as a hairy situation. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. If you tell that whole... No repercussions for the million subs. No well, repercussions for the million subs. No, there could be. Yeah, no, so. that was all... Everything was on the up and up. There's no, no under-the-table dealings. Nah. I don't want that one. That's well, the one. That's the one you want to talk about. Okay. He was, he was down there ruining somebody else's rep. Right. <laughs> and I was like, but me? Nah, you can't tell that one. Alright, so up to him. <laughs> since we can do neither of those okay. and we tease something, what can we we can't give those out. Oh man. Y'all know I normally give out a lot. Oh, give man. us another wild doughboy story. Who we had need sex dough, at the we office. need to story. Oh, who had sex at the offices? I can tell that. We can't oh. tell that story. I can tell that story. Oh, 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 the There's a whole move. <laughs> Chiquita banana. 
Yeah, we'll give it to him. I just like the Chiquita. Uh, can Tahir tell another story of his childhood? Yeah, we'll be serious. People are really intrusive. He had trauma, he had pain. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's real. Right. I'm hungry, bro. I had to pee for the last two episodes. Why didn't you do it after we finish yours? Hmm? Why didn't you do it? Hey, Mr. Mr. Spazza. Listen. Uh, Kid Sylvester said that was a bust. Uh, the, you got to understand about this channel story. The innocent cannot be protected. The, there's no way. You can't. You can't. We can't. Well, Doughboy has no. And in his defense, I'll take it off. But Doughboy has on no problem embarrassing or having stories that embarrass himself. But and tell us a million subs. Yeah, million subs. Nobody else gets embarrassed. It's pretty embarrassing. That is true. Yeah, yeah it really. There's nobody else there. It's pretty embarrassing. You don't even. You could still protect the innocent. The format is funny. Okay. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to do it on my first 48. Give me a snack. I'll tell you. Give me a touch on Ryan. I'll tell you. <laughs> like a snack. <snitch. laughs> <laughs> Give me a turkey on Ryan. Give me a pepperoni pizza. pizza. All right, so <laughs> let's just say our party. We're not going to even say what party. We're just. That's we're not even the thing you need to protect. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want you guys to think it was weird okay. stuff happening. So, there's a party coming up. He's still Mind you, I'm fresh out of an 84 day marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. That's the irony about this story. I was really yeah. very new out of it. So, I invite a young lady to come to the party with me. And I'm just bigging her up the whole time. I'm telling everybody about it. I'm like, yo, man, it's what's your lip? I'm like, now that'll get too but close. She doesn't live in LA. She doesn't live in LA. It's a so how did she get there? She, I'm going to tell that part. <laughs> what did she wear? I'm going to say it. Let him talk. So, so. It's a way better story, by the way. So, um, or, or salt. It doesn't can I get something? I am hungry. And a hint. Shh, I'll tell you what you need to know. <laughs> Feed me first. <laughs> For no <laughs> Um, alright, so I invited her down and like, you know, it's a girl I knew or whatever. I knew her for a couple of years. So I was telling everybody about it, like, alright. So then as she's when I asked her to come, she's like, Look, I would love to come, but what's this? I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's this? Hey man, why you give me food snacks and have veggie chips? You said someone said fruit snacks. How you just assume it was him? Because okay. she wanted the veggie oh, chips. Tell me the story, man. It's good. You wanted the Popeyes. Oh, see they already heard the story. They don't need to hear it again. You told this story? Yeah, so all three of them? They've already heard this story. They don't want to hear oh, it. Oh, man, I want to hear it all out. <laughs> he wasn't is this about something that. that's uh, available later? What? This. Yeah. No, this, is, this part's not available ever. It's just for, um... Right, Jerome. Hey, sir. The question asking or the watching? The watching. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you told it. They got all the details. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, first time I smashed the midget. <laughs> There we go! Is there a restroom? Oh, yeah, you gotta take the uh, key oh, out to your right. Bye, Patreon. And straight down to the end of the hall. Let's go towards this area, you'll see the door. Uh, don't bring me one pack of food snacks like that was gonna be enough. It's a snack. Start yeah. off with the hot. Go ahead, here. Oh, they really want to hear? Mm-hmm. Say to your serious stuff, because they be thinking we're too insensitive. Touch him with your feelings. Anyway, uh, so I met this chick. She is that a comedy show? <laughs> um, she kind of hopped up to me at the bar. Hopped up. Huh? <laughs> she hopped up. Huh? She hopped up to the stool at the bar. She was cool. She's funny. Whatever. She was on a hell day. Really? Yeah. She was that one? one? No, she's one of the ones from hell day. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So she invites me over to the crib. And I don't know why I thought like. Did she have an easy bake oven? No, see, that's the thing I thought. I thought it was gonna be like slides all over throughout the house, pots and goes, hitting all of that. It was none of that. Slide. One thing it was a lot of step stools. Step stools all through the house. She went to the step stool emporium and went crazy. Let me get a thousand of everything in every color. It was step stools on each end of her couch. And it's so crazy because people say your dog, like when people have dogs, they they look like them or they take on the owners. Mm -hmm. She had a little, I forget the type of dog, but it had like the breathing, mm -hmm. like that type yeah. of thing. And I don't know if you know, but a lot of little people have a lot of respiratory problems. 
So, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they do. Uh, this, you know what? I don't think I can do this. This story gets graphic. It it gets. We'll ask their permission. How graphic is graphic for you? Is graphic? Is is. It ain't graphic for me because no, I was I mean, there. You're, you're graphic. Yeah, I am. I'm I'm graphic, but it it gets it gets wild. Um, Supreme Press said, "Run it." Tell it. We ain't been saying all our lives. Tell the story. Tell all the story. Right. So, Here I get to a uh, <laughs> get to a crib. Um, she has a two bedroom apartment. Now she stays in the hood, hood, right? So we sit down chilling. I was like, let me go check on my car, right? She was like, you can go look through the the the, uh, the guest bedroom window. So I go in the guest bedroom. No, she told me to go in her room. I go in her room. And there's a step stool at the bottom of her bed, too. I was like, okay, yeah, let's see what's going on. She had a big bed. So I looked in the window, car's good. So Kyle Samson side, we need to hear that. So we go sit down. Now we sit down on the, uh, the couch and we're watching some shows late, whatever. And everything in your mind when you like about to smash a little person as a guy is gonna be like, no, don't, don't do this, just mm-hmm. leave. But like, I had the heart of a champion and I had to see it through. Right, so it was still was getting weird. And I was like, I think I'm a dip, and she must have felt my energy because at that point, like she's sitting here, I'm there, the TV's there. At that point, she climbs into my lap. <laughs> Why did she, she climb? Climbed, that's what she did. She like did this, climbs to my lap, turns around. That'd be weird. So now one of her legs is like on my thigh, the other one's kind of dangling. She had in on the middle. The, no, like like that. Yeah, in between my legs, like dangling off the couch a little bit. So she had on pajama pants, so shorts. She what? takes my hand. Wait, were they shorts? But yeah, they were short shorts, right? But they were short for shorts. But too. they were like. Yeah, no, 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 they weren't like that. They were shorts on her. Takes my hand and makes me, you know, right. And so I'm like, I'm there with it, you know, right here. But my other hand is like holding her up, so it's like I'm cradling her. <laughs> And I don't know why I sort of bounced on my leg, but, <laughs> but I did. So all of this, all of this is going on while I'm bouncing, all right? How does this not feel like a pedophile? And that's what I'm saying. That's like everything in my mind is like, yo, get out of here. Pull a, pull a cord, eject, boom. But my heart is like, no. You have to see it through. Everything in me was like, leave. But I was like, when are you ever going to get this chance? I right. get it. Like, when do you get a chance like this? Man, you see that as a chance. <laughs> hey, man, the opportunity. Have you ever smashed a midget? No. Well, shut up. I like grown women. <laughs> she was They're grown. Gross. She was uh, older than me. It's basically, it's basically like having sex with a child that's legal. No, it's not that at all. No, it you is just made it super weird. You made when you were bouncing on your lap. <laughs> I could, I could squat her. That's not weird, my... It's about as weird as you can make. When you rub it on her like Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. No, <laughs> no. Why would I do that, Pat? Don't make it that Lucy, weird. Oh, I mean, that I did say. But so that's later in the story. So she was like, all right, let's go to the room. So I, I get up. I start walking toward a bedroom. She's like, no, nah, go to the guest room. So I walk to the guest room. It's like across another bedroom. As I'm walking in the guest room, the first thing I notice is that there's no step stool at this bed. Right? So I'm like, your bones are All right, what, what's going to happen now? So I, I get I get in there. I start un, 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 undressing. Yeah. I see her take like three steps and then she jumps on oh, the bed, man. but like a high jump, right? <laughs> like I'm talking run and then jump like back first. Oh, are you serious? Bro, when I tell you I almost lost it. Why did she have a step stool in the place like she has to go every that's, day? That's her guest room. That's Ain't that like guest a pole ball? Oh, the guest room. Huh? Ain't that like a pole ball? Yes. In the Olympics? Yeah, the pole. No, no, no. Yeah, whatever one that is. Did she stick it? She did. <laughs> but, she, but the bounce almost flew her off the bed. I had to, when I tell you her head landed like boom, like like shoulder, like shoulder, I don't know. Oh, she's she's always she thinking. Bro, I don't, she got excited, bro. I had, to, I had to contain it because I was like, if I laugh, she ain't gonna let me smash. So I had to swallow the giggle, boom, oh, like. Oh, man. <laughs> I just pictured it again. Bro. <laughs> so I, right, we start going down, bop, right? You know, you, you, you're doing your thing, and, uh, <laughs> 
You know, fellas, you know, lift the leg up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got the leg, legs right here, right here, but she's not. I'm not the same. Right? So, like, her leg was, like, right here. Where'd the foot end? The foot. The foot is right here. Right? Oh so, God, it's, like, tickling so the inside of my elbow. This is so, so wrong, wrong, by the way. This is this, it's weird. It gets weird. It gets weird, right? Weirder than this? Weirder than yes, weirder absolutely. Weirder than, weirder than this. Weirder than this. So, I'm, I'm doing my thing, and she's like, I can take it. So, I'm not holding back. She was like, well, stop playing with it. Okay, bye. Right now, her head is hanging off the bed at this point. Oh, no, big right? head. They got big, big yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, she's top heavy. So, her head is hanging off the bed at this point. Now, I told you that little people have bad respiratory problems. <laughs> why? I don't know why. They just do. They, a lot of them, they, they, they yeah. breathe like, yeah, like that. So, so, the way you breathe, it's yeah, like a mess. Okay, this, this guy didn't have to stare at all. So, her head's hanging off the bed. And as her head's hanging off, she's draining. Her sinuses are draining into her what throat. What does that sound like? What does that mean? So she's like, pull me up. I say, what? She's pull me up. So I'm like, pull up. I said, but it wasn't cute no more. It was not. <laughs> give it to me. I'm going to give it to you. Don't help me. I'm going to die. No. Give I'm your gonna hand give to me. To me. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> give me my well, I'm, I'm gonna give you a no, no, really. I can't, I can't You're killing me. me. I know I'm killing nothing. You're killing me. <laughs> Why do you think you people talk like that? Why do you think people sound like that? She would have never got my number if she talked like that. That much I can tell you. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, pull it up, finish strong. Uh, with the clean. Wait, why, why was she choking? What was wrong with her? Her, her sinuses are drained. Like, if they're upside down, that sinus is drained. I don't so know. what position did you switch to? Oh, uh, I finished out. I just pulled a head back on the bed. I did go from the back. I'm not going to lie to you because I had seen that thing. Was did like you have to, like, angle down. differently? Huh? No, 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 no. Because, like, from the thigh up, it was regular. From <laughs> <laughs> the thigh up, it was uh, regular. Uh, <laughs> he said it's so matter of fact. From the thigh up? From the thigh up. up. Cause it's the limbs, it's the knee down is the difference. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the torsos are are regular, are normal. <laughs> they're not. Their torsos are. Sometimes their no, limbs no. are. A lot of times their limbs are what, just shorter. What's the total height? About four three. Nah, that's way too tall. Uh, I don't know, maybe like three eight, three nine. Are you really? that small? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I, you're I, that I tall. Pull out a rule, you guys. <laughs> I didn't pull out a rule. That would have been rude. But okay, okay. It's just, if she bent. Oh, oh hey. Alright, that's a sign to just stop. I'm not gonna finish the story. God was like, stop, what are you doing? There's uh, more to it? I can't finish it. Come on! No. I thought it was No, good. that's it. No. Don't that's protect it. the innocent. We don't know this person. Yeah, that's okay. Was this yeah. a hooker? Or did you No, 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 no. It's just shit that pulled me. And if she was, but she charged in half price. You said, you said one. You say one. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. I'm sorry. Can you imagine him trying to negotiate about that? Wait, wait. Look at that. It's on. just a little sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go. You can do 40. You want to be done. Listen, man. You, 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 you have sex as much as I can. Like, you, you have to try the new stuff. Where does it go from, from there, though? Oh. Yeah, I rather not say. Just let's just, let's just say it was it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. I don't I don't like uh, having sex with ninja stories. Why? I was basic. Them? No, but I mean, just if you just heard that and missed the intro, it's the same as like I had sex with a child story. It's not. It no, is. It's so weird when you say that. It just has like a different. That. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It, just has a, it just has a different intro. It's, it's not, not the just, same thing at all. No adults. But I'm just saying, like all the things, like she climbed onto my lap. That was so it's weird. Just, it's weird. Just high it's base. Base. there. It's just high base. Her foot, I had her feet up and her feet were here. Why do you keep going to children? Because it sounds like that. It what doesn't. It? it sounds like a short adult. You're making it weird, bro. <laughs> You're making it very See, weird. It's not that big. Tall wise. You really not. It probably did just look like midget pony. <laughs> 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 Somewhere in the world, she's telling her story of sleeping with a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so we got purpose, right? <laughs> <laughs> he think he better than me. He don't gotta use the stool. Right? <laughs> I see them look at me when I jump. Like, I heard a sinus is drained. Like, really? I'm the only one jumping on beds. <laughs> 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 Alright, man. 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 Alright,
and he started bouncing me on the seat. He really started bouncing like me on the seat. Girl. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. This is the last time I share with you. Bro. Oh, man. I don't know. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, I'm telling the story is great. Oh, God. All right, y'all. We got to go to Popeye's and eat a chicken salad. Yes! I don't know if y'all have time, but I'm just hungry anyway. Oh, my God. So I and we're back to the wholesomeness next week. We got these I've hooligans out here. This day. You? We were hooligans. I'm sorry we brought that out of you. Oh, man. Talk about mini sex? God like bless you. y'all. We'll see you at Tuesday. 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 New York, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, those Charlotte Rally or Rally Charlotte. Rally's Charlotte. the only place that's got sold out, not sold out. Rice and Ratchet tour tickets available now. Bye bye.